get us all zoomed in here that way we can see what's going on. Really quick, I don't know what I want to do with these yet. Little guy, and these little uh, two kids, and these are really so. Yeah. I may take some of the leftover um, and kind of put it for these guys as after it wouldn't be over much. I mean, two by two. Hey, I was just showing you this is a pack of 20. I just these are so cute. You too. You guys are just windy. Look at them. Adorable. These are small. From some of the painting we do tonight. And I don't use them for something. These are just really cute. They're so funny. It's adorable. Those guys. Anyway, I got the idea from Teresa because of her magnet. So. But maybe paint a couple between. Um, I know. <laughs> no, bigger. You know, like you probably make some magnets out of them. It'd be fun. Like I said, you could probably make them like two. No, it's just so cute. Go on my fridge. It's adorable. I don't know, probably some other stuff you can do too, but. So, what do you know? It's just because I'm going to need. So we need the paint on them. It's okay here because we are very, very organized. There we go. Here. So let's draw our first solar schemer that we want to try. All right. All right. So we've got a couple of paintings to show tonight. They're also going to be off. But these are all really cute. As well, there's other merchandise. So we need to check. There we go. Now we're ready to go. We got our clipboard. Oh, that's a good idea. You could definitely use them to make some uh, mosaics. I 
I don't know, I kind of wanted to make some little earrings, but I think they're going to have to be smaller than that to make the earrings. So. Oh my god. Doghouse slash trunk. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off with some blue colors. And then we'll go in there. Got to get our first colors painting in here. And we'll go from there. I think we'll do a touch on the beautiful sink. I think I want to do just a slight of orange in this one. And then our beautiful them in there. We'll figure out what we're doing, but this just and I like let's see that's hollow blue. Um blue, really this color. This color is really pretty in it. Um well, basically if you have a custom size canvas you want or a that you want, you can send me a message, uh, some requests, and so for colors in the chat, or we're well, gonna make these live to five. So there are ways to do it. If you just kind of couple, have certain colors for what we do. We're all on here. So it here. So have any color quests? You know, feel free to. Uh, oh, this color. This is real color. Um, yes, make them and then pull them Set up also. Can't colors want during the show. Do custom orders too. If you know, perhaps you can't get the colors that you want know or for whatever reason. Or some people want certain size canvases. Sometimes. Let's do. I think we should do symbols all of the coppers and orange colors and we'll leave all the blues without cells. I think this will be fun because I haven't done with a uh, scheme for a while. Yeah, sitting a match. I don't have any clues about colors. Just look. There's the one or whatnot. I don't know. I have a certain color. I have a lot of colors, but you know, I love this. Color. Kind of one of my go-tos. I don't know, just a good color scheme. And blue is my favorite. Copper's like my second. Uh, well, copper's like my favorite color to put in art or paint with. Um, but blue is like my favorite color. Color. None of pearl better than father. <laughs> Other colors. That's a good idea. Okay, let's write down and we can pick out the exact color. Here the facts. Unicorn colors. Number seven. We will after this. We have a lot of colors that really corn colors. So that we're using for the We can both colors. Uh, we're using our cinnamon spice. We're using our cool blue. We're using our koi. Our cool blue. We're using our metallic cobalt blue. They're one of our favorites. We're using yellow blue, which is the another darker blue. And to you. If we can figure out the right colors, maybe we get to use them. 
their copy. It depends on whoever paying because don't want corns. All right, so we're going to just sell the end for half of these guys, and we're going to use our silver. really important. It's not the same. You can't deny people Orange is this one. Oh, our skin size. What you're right, we have bells year round. Like we celebrate Halloween year old. Then there's our beautiful. Look, we hope it turns out to be a good one. I'm pretty sure no copper. I'm just gonna start rolling these together to see what I'm up with. I was really pouring the guys together. It's gonna be real. Yeah, this color. It's called pool party. This is just like a great. And then we're gonna do this. And then cinnamon is the turquoise exactly. Oh man, this turquoise. I love turquoise. It blends all great. And for copper, or copper. Yes. Yeah, you know, something in and it's like, you just decide yourself. And then the blue. Dark blue. And then it's really just the color of something. Yeah, it's really fun to see how they turn out. That is for sure. That is definitely for sure. Okay, let's do these guys. All right. And then before we pour this guy out, we're going to do an auction on one of Wendy's items. So I don't know if you guys have any requests, um, but you can take a look at the items that we have by clicking the 13 in the bottom right-hand corner. It'll give you a good idea. You know what, Elk? Yes. That's like it being Bronco colors. Because these are like Bronco colors in Colorado. You've got your copper. You've got your orange. Those colors just look really, really good together. Let me grab my tablet. So if anybody has any requests for any of uh, Wendy's items, let me know. They're pictured on the side there. Um, but I definitely want to start, I think, with a wreath, unless anybody has any requests, because these wreaths are just awesome. So let's start out with this guy. We're going to start out with this little cutie right here. Well, that's awesome. See it right in the mail because Wendy's a fast shipper. And so look at this little cutie. He's adorable. 
And then there is a little bit better look at some of the detail on this guy. And then I'm going to read the description. Oh, look at his little antler top. That's cute. And the ribbon, a little good ribbon. That's super cute. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is going to be a handcrafted reindeer wreath. Handcrafted artificial reindeer wreath. Measures 32 inches from tip of antler to bottom and 12 inches at the widest part. Quality made to be enjoyed for many years to come. So this is a nice quality item, handcrafted with love by Wendy um, for her craft studio, Cinder's Crafty Creations. So take a look at that guy. Yes. And if you guys want to follow Wendy, um, the name is Wendy JW 1975. So you can do a search for it or you can click on her information on the bottom right hand corner. But we're going to start with this little guy. And we do take requests, and she does bundle, and she's definitely able to answer any questions that you guys have about these. So, take a good look at this guy, because we're going to auction this guy off. So, we, go, we went ahead and started that, and then while we're auctioning that off, we're going to take a look at all the detail in this. You've got the beautiful little poinsettias. Um... You've got the bell here. You've got, oh my gosh, you've got the little reindeer horns. It's really cute. And you've got your ribbon, which, you know, we're all kind of like some craft people. We all like the ribbon. Good ribbons are really cute. And then you've got his little eye right there. And he's a real cutie. And this is quality crafted. And that's what this guy looks like. He's a little cutie. And that's the little reindeer guy. And there are a couple different variations of this wreath. If you guys want to check it out, just feel free to request anything that you guys want to see. All right, let me get our drip pan canvas. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of paint left over on this. We have a lot going on for these guys. Okay, so our drip pan canvas is going to be 18 by 24. And what in the heck we ended up with? So there's this guy, and then we have our tray, and we have our first canvas, and that is going to be 11 by 14. All right, so this is painting number six. Um, it is going to be 11 by 14. And we are going to be using our beautiful copper, coppers, oranges, and um, blues. So let's check it out. See what we end up with here, because I really just don't know. We don't ever know what's going to happen until we do it. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats. Well, thank you. Welcome back. Yeah, we've done some really cool tie-dye paintings since then. Some really fun Roy G. Biv uh, colors. The colors of the rainbow, the, like the tie-dye colors, they look so pretty. That's another one of my favorite color schemes to do. If you guys want, we could do another Roy G. Biv tonight. Let me write that down, because that'd be fun in case anybody hadn't seen that. So we'll do... Um, we've got one for the next one. We're going to do unicorn colors for painting number seven and painting number eight. We're going to do Roy G. Biv. All right. Let's see what this guy looks like. 
These colors are really pretty together. Oh, and then look at the cup. The cup is gorgeous, too. It's its own work of art. And then we need to take a close-up look on this guy. And we'll start swishing it around. Yeah, there's some. there have been some really cool paintings. We've uh, come up with some amazing paint schemes. That's why I like to write them down. Because um, you guys have the best ideas. And so I kind of steal them and write them down in my notebook. That way we can do them again. Um, there's a little arrow underneath the smiley face. And you can press that. And you can copy the link to the show. And you can share it that way. Look at that guy. Just so many cool colors in this one. But, you know, when you swish it around, you don't know what you're going to end up with. So that's what we're going to do right now. That way we can see what happens with this guy. Lots of really cool uh, colors in this one. I can tell this one's going to be gorgeous. But honestly, this color scheme always is. Yes, I remember that one. Our dream kitchen. Because we, we have like these plans for a dream kitchen. We've got a marble uh, countertop. We're going to have a gold Keurig. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have some bougie marble looking paintings to go on our wall. It's going to be an entire thing. Yeah, no, we came up with some really, really good ones. That's another really pretty one is like black, white, and like some metallics, you know, like silver, gold, really any of the metallics look gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at this cobalt metallic blue. This part right here, this is all cobalt metallic blue. It's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, I really love the metallics too. And this one is pretty much all metallics. Um, well, no, I take that back. It's at least half metallics, maybe more than half. Cause we've got the cobalt metallic blue. We've got two coppers, both of which are definitely metallic. Um, and then we have, yeah, so I guess half of it, half the colors, but yeah, I just love a good metallic. They're so pretty. And, um, especially with black and white, you know, it's like a really classy look. It's a very classy look. We gotta do a deep dive on this guy. Exactly, and then we'll paint it in the new kitchen. We see an alligator. And there we go. Perfect. But we got to do a, a deep dive on this guy. Yeah, the orange is really cool. The cinnamon. And then you can see like kind of the brighter orange peeking out too. But um, we have an alligator on the loose. But yeah, it's got some really interesting cells. And this is the bottom of it. Oh, that's a cool cell. We've got a cellception. We've got a cell within a cell. Lots of cell action going on here. But yeah, it's got all the really pretty colors of blue. And then look at these cells. That's really nice. So yeah, this is really, really cool up close. And then this is pretty much just all that cobalt metallic blue from here all the way down. But that's an amazing color. I love cobalt metallic blue. It's got to be one of the best colors, in my opinion. We love a good metallic. There we go. Now we can actually see the thing. Perfect. All right, let me write that guy down. 
Yeah, there we've done some Christmas like all kind. We did some snowflake, a snowflake one that looked cool. We did a Grinch one. We've done a couple Christmas. That would be um, pretty. We should definitely do that. Red, green, gold, and silver. Got it. And we could do variations of that color too. But at least we have a direction where we're going. So we'll do that for painting number nine. Always love a good colored scheme. So that's what this guy looks like. Um, this is definitely, I don't know, kind of beachy. It could also be kind of spacey. It also kind of looks like space a little, little bit. So I don't know. This one's really pretty though because of the, probably because of the cobalt metallic blue is what's really standing out to me in this guy. So let's see. This is painting number six. Oh, well, we started with six because I did a show earlier today because I like to put the dates on my paintings so that way um, I can make sure that uh, everybody gets the correct paintings. And so I just number them one through ten when I do two shows. So that's why they're kind of wonky tonight. They're a little weird. It's a little weird tonight, but this is definitely the first painting. It's just number six. So let's see. This is 11 by uh, 14. So that's going to be like a, a rectangular frame. So pretty nice little size here. You've got your metallic blue, cobalt. Um, you've got your turquoise. You've got your tallow blue. You've got your pool blue, cinnamon spice. You've got both coppers and orange. So there's kind of a lot that went into this guy. Um, definitely beach vibes. Oh, we didn't do the names. That's okay. We can do the names after. But definitely kind of a beach theme to me, but it also looks like a space theme. Like this could also be a planet, you know, could be a little galactical too. So really this one could go any kind of direction, honestly. And so Cal is one. Congratulations to you. So you get to name it. Unfortunately, I forgot to ask the group for names, but I'm sure people would be willing to give you some suggestions because we've got all the most smartest people in here. So if you need any suggestions for this guy, let me know. Like I said, I kind of see like a planet here, but I also see a beach. You could also see like a night sky too, you know, because it's mostly blue. But it's got some colors in it. Some nice colors to it. Beaches. Awesome. Okay, so we are not going to be accessorizing this guy with any glass or glitter. So no unicorns on this one. No lightning bolts. <laughs> Gator Galaxy. Oh, that's cute, Elk. That's adorable. So congratulations on this guy. The next one that we're going to do is going to be our unicorn one. So I'm not really sure how we're going to pick these colors. So I'm just going to get out all the unicorn colors. And you guys can tell me yes or no. Ooh, look at that. And then it's got like a pocket of cobalt metallic blue within the pocket. I just love these colors. I just love them. See the little gator guy? There's his mouth and his eyeball. He's all like, Arr! He's a little cutie. So we're gonna put him in here. That's cute. She got those beautiful coppers, though. That's kind of what happens when you use those colors. And then you can see where we've started our drip pan painting tray. So, looking interesting so far. But honestly, they kind of always do. So, in this stage, so I'm not really surprised. 
All right. Next, let's get our other colors together here. Our colors of unicorn. Okay. So, like I said, I'm just going to get out colors that might be considered unicorn colors. I don't really know. And if anybody has anything to suggest, please let me know. Trying to get out anything that I think might be perceived as unicorn-like. All right, I'm going to put these blues together, then we'll put the purples and the pinks together, so, okay. All right, let's just start there. That'll give us a nice jumping off point. Um, I have a lot of different types of glitter. I have like the really soft powdered glitter in pretty much every color. I have white, black, and every color in between. And then as far as, and then I have like more fun glitter. Like these are the unicorns we were talking about. They're like white pearl iridescent colored. And, um, and we can definitely make like a paler yellow. We can use the bright yellow and like really water it down. Um, I've got letters. The letters are fun. We've done a few where we've used these silver stars. These are really pretty. And they're just really shiny silver stars. Um, what else? I've got bows, I've got hearts, I've got, um, let's see, gold stars and silver moons. I've got kind of this silver chunkier glitter. It's just like a platinum. And this one everyone likes, this is probably one of my favorite glitters. This one's called Cosmic. And it's got like, uh... You can see it's like kind of black, lavender, and blue stars and stuff. It's just really fun. Um, and then, yeah, definitely the powdered glitter. You know, like something that might look cool since this is a unicorn vibe. I don't know. We've got this like really like fine glitter. So I don't know. We could really do anything we wanted with this. But um, all right. So. We definitely want a paler yellow, so let me go ahead and make that, because that's one that everybody wanted. Oh, definitely, Cheryl. That would be a good one to do, for sure. Where's my white? There we go. Oh, very nice. All right, let me write that down. So we'll do a breast cancer one theme for number 10. And I do have a lot of pinks. So we can see what we come up with. So that'll be number 10. So we've got all of our paintings kind of planned tonight. We've got kind of an idea of what, where we're going here, which is really helpful for me, for me, but there's the pale yellow color. And this is like a nice soft, uh, pastel. It's hard to see. It looks more yellow than it actually is on camera, but this is actually really light. If you can see it on the stick for some reason, it's looking really but yeah, that's the color it actually is. Um, we could, um, um, we usually do probably about once a day, just cause it's Saturday. We're doing it twice. We're doing it twice today. It just kind of varies, but usually once a day. 
and let's see metallic white or silver yeah that's i was gonna do like a pearl white because i've got this really nice like iridescent pearl medium and i was gonna mix it with the white to kind of give it a little uh unicornness if that makes sense um i mean you can kind of control it we can do natural cells like where we don't add the cell medium to do all the little circles in it. Like when we don't add this, it tends to be like more marbly and stuff. So you can definitely do one with natural cells, which is what we call it when we don't add anything to it. It just depends on the type of look you're really going for. Oh yeah. For, yeah, definitely. Definitely. We could definitely uh mix the colors a little bit for sure cheryl definitely and we can figure out what colors we want when we get to that one but i can definitely mix anything that you guys want because we have our silver metallic too to make things metallic-y and then we also have our pearl so we can pretty much uh make any color like have that pearl iridescent situation so we kind of do whatever we want Awesome. Well, feel free to watch and let's see what we can come up with for sure. And we got to vote on these colors. So we know we're definitely doing the yellow and then we're going to pick out, um, these would be like the blue colors, kind of the green. Cause this, this is almost like a green. I don't know. This is aqua green. So I don't know. Do we want to do this? Cause really this is kind of like a pastel green in my opinion. Okay, so we can do that one. I feel like that's a unicorn color too. And then do we want to do either one of these blues? We've got sky blue, which is this lighter, like kind of like a baby blue. And then we've got this light blue, which is kind of like a Tiffany blue. So I don't know if you guys want to do either one of these guys with it. Yeah, the Tiffany blue color is really, really pretty. It's just a nice uh, color of blue for sure. We're going to do the light one because it looks like everybody likes that guy for this one. Um, but there's so many pretty colors of blue. Blue is my favorite color, so I try to get every single blue I can find. And then let's see. We've got purples. And our choice on the purples are going to be, let's see. We've got our metallic purple, which is kind of like a darker purple, um, like a violet. And then we've got our new purple, which is the light violet. And then we have our lavender, which is going to be like the lightest, kind of like a pale purple. Okay. Exactly. And we can do two of them too. But yeah, this one is especially pretty. I love that color too. Yeah, the light violet, this definitely looks really unicorny. I don't know. I see the metallic and the pale. Let's do the one in between. Because I feel like this is a good, like, unicorny color. Unicorny. I don't think that's a word. Okay, so we might have just made up a word, but that's okay. Um, okay, uh, let's vote on the pinks next. And these are our choices, okay? So the first one is going to be fuchsia, and this is like a Barbie pink. So this is major Barbie core vibes. And then we have our pink, and this is going to be the lightest pink. And this is kind of like a baby pink. Okay, and then we have our purple neon. And this to me kind of has like pink vibes in it. And then we also have our rose gold. And this guy is definitely like a light pink. I don't know. This looks kind of unicorny to me. Kind of feel like we need the rose gold in here. And then, I don't know, do we want to put another one of the pinks in here? Because we've got purple neon, we've got pink, and then we've got the Barbie pink. So, I don't know if we want to add another pink to this or not. But I just feel like the rose gold would be super pretty. 
Okay, the baby pink. Let's do it. Because I feel like it needs a pink. Okay, good. We're all on the same page there. Um, okay. Now, the next question I have for you guys. Um, do we want to do pearl white in uh, or silver or both? Because we've got the silver... Okay, both. Perfect, Elk. When in doubt, use all the colors. That's what that's the way I like to go. All right, do you guys want to add another pink to it? I'll let you guys decide, like a bright pink. I have this neon pink. And I guess I have the Barbie pink. That's kind of a fuchsia. Do you guys want the fuchsia, which is like Barbie core, Barbie pink? And then we've got the um, neon pink. I don't know. Okay. Let's do it. All right. I got to mix our... I got to turn our white into pearl white. So we're using our iridescent mixing medium. And we're mixing it with white so that it'll be pearl. And then we are going to be mixing up some silver. Very nice, very nice. We love a good glittery color. Okay, so we've got those guys, and let's see what we got going on with the other ones. Oh, do we want to use, uh, do we want to do cells in these guys? And if so, which colors do we want to do the cells in? Exactly. Ironically speaking. Oh, good idea, Country Roads. Okay, not a natural. All right, Taj, let's do a natural one. And we're going to pour it through the strainer. All right, so we're going to do natural cells in this guy. I think that would be really fun because we got to mix it up that way we're always doing something different and exciting and so I'm just kind of randomly adding these colors at this point because there's no point in trying to put them in order or do anything these colors do whatever they want they totally run the show There's our beautiful purple. Our sky blue. Yeah, we're doing jazz tonight. I thought maybe I should give everyone a break from the Christmas music. I don't want to be like the mall where it's like, oh, not that terrible Christmas music again. We're trying, we're going to be, I don't know. We're trying to mix it up a little bit. All right, and we're going to pour it through the strainer, so that'll be really fun, too, because that's fun and different. Then there's this guy. That definitely looks like a cup o unicorn. So that one's going to be really awesome. And before we pour this one, we're going to auction off an item of Wendy's. So let me get this guy set up over here. And I need to remember to paint one of my little frames this time, so let me go ahead and get one out. Because I've got these mini canvases. They're two by two. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to use them for something. They're just cute. I wanted to make earrings, but that doesn't really make sense. These are way too big for earrings. I don't know. I may make some little ornaments to hang up on my tree. So I'm going to put that little guy there. That's just one of my personal little projects. So I don't know. I just want to do something with it. Because it's so cute. These little frames are so cute. And I got the idea from Teresa because Teresa made me this awesome magnet. Isn't that cute? I just love this thing. It's like the coolest thing ever. I've got it on my fridge. I just like, I look at it. You know how you have things in your house that you look at every day and you really just love them? I like that one because Teresa made it for me and because it's got pore painting, which is also one of my favorite things. Okay. So let's do a wreath here. I just love these wreaths, guys. These are so cute. Oh, I want to try some round canvases. I tried to order some on Michael's because Michael's had this awesome sale of their really good frames where you buy one, you get two free this weekend. And so I've really been, and so I wanted to order them, but they were all out of the round ones when I tried to order them online. And, um, I was, I, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm definitely going to get some, I kind of want to do a whole planet scheme, you know, like we do all the different planets, like Mars. I want to do a whole like, uh, space theme. That'd be fun. Well, maybe I'll send some, uh, ornaments out with the next set of paintings. That might be kind of fun. Cause usually I send out buttons. Most of you guys have these already. If you've ordered a painting from me. Oh wow, I'm out of buttons. I was going to show you guys, but I'm out of buttons. I need to make some more. The backseat painter's buttons, but most of you guys have those. And I send them out with each order. But we're going to auction off this guy first. Yes, they have oval, they have round. Well, I don't know about oval. I've definitely seen round, but I would think they have oval. Surely, right? I didn't see any on Michael's uh, last night, but I bet you they've got them on Amazon. There's got, they've got to be somewhere. Um, Yeah, maybe you could come in here and make some buttons. That would be really great if you could do that. I have a button maker, and we always have a lot of fun with it. Love a good button making uh, situation. <laughs> They're just fun. Right, sweetie? Aren't they fun to make? I think they're fun to make. But that's what this guy looks like. And it's really pretty because these are great Christmas colors. You've got your silver and gold. And it's shaped like a candy cane wreath because it's not a regular boring round wreath. This is a candy cane wreath. So let's see, handcrafted candy cane shaped artificial wreath. Measures 21 inches and 12 inches at the widest part. Quality made to be enjoyed for many years to come. Handcrafted with love by Wendy for her craft studio, Cinder's Crafty Creations. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea to do that makes little and make little wreaths that's awesome exactly so let me send this over to you wendy we got to start this guy off but you guys take a look at the craftsmanship and this is nice because i feel like this could kind of go with anybody's color scheme because you've got the silver you've got the gold really really nice and then you can see the detail here. It's also got this really pretty snowflake garland and the little uh, snowflake guys hanging out there. And it's silver and gold, just like the Christmas song. Silver and gold. And it's on a candy cane wreath, which gives it a nice, uh, nice little different uh, look than a regular wreath. Because we like to be different. So that's what that guy looks like, and there's kind of a close-up of him. And if you guys want to see anything, if there's any items that you want me to auction off, just let me know. 
because we can definitely do that. We can multitask in here. We are we are some talented individuals. Okay. Let's get our next canvas out. And this is a 12 by 12, guys. So just taking the plastic off of this. And this time I have my little canvas here, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that guy. Hopefully we get a little paint on it and I'm gonna make a mini painting for I don't know why. I just know I wanna you I wanna make something with these things. Somehow sometimes that's how a project starts. You don't really necessarily know all the details. You just kind of have a nice jumping off point. And I think that's kind of where we're at with this. So there's that guy. And then we're going to take this and pour it over and see what happens with our unicorn situation. Oh, nice. Halloween tree. That's awesome. I love a Halloween tree. Halloween is an excellent holiday. Definitely one of my favorites. Oh, wait, we were supposed to do this in the strainer. My bad. You know what? I can still fix it. Sorry about that, guys. My brain is like... <laughs> I'm already on the next project. Ooh, look at the cup. Oh, my gosh. That is fun. That's a work of art itself. I forgot, too. I just, I'm just... I don't know. Like I said, I'm thinking of the next project because we have some really excellent color schemes that we're going to be doing tonight. And, you know, there's all kinds of ways to pour the paint and to do this. Um, more than anything else, it's just for fun. There we go. That way you guys can see what's going on here. You know, it's just kind of a fun thing to try. Just fun to try it out, do something different with it. And then I try to lift it up a little bit. And it looks kind of like a daisy to me whenever I use the strainer. It's just kind of a neat way to try it. But yeah, we have a lot of different ways that we pour it. We've got our uh, pour cups that do the multicolors in them. We've got our strainers. Um, you know, there's all kinds of ways to do it. People are always thinking of really cool ideas as far as this goes. And then let's take a look at it. Oh, definitely. It would definitely make some cool lampshades. Um, the aqua may come out more. And that's the thing is sometimes when you pour the colors... Sometimes all the colors don't necessarily come out. Um, sometimes the colors can be a little hidden. But let's take an up-close look at this guy, and then we'll move it around and see how it ends up. And it may end up coming out after we move it around and move the paint around. You never know. But there's just a close-up view for you guys. And then let's go ahead and swish it around and see if we end up seeing any blue in it or if any of the other colors come out. And this is our unicorn theme. Come on, little frame. Oh, I got some on my little frame. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I don't know. It's kind of sad. Okay. And the aqua may end up peeking out a little bit more too. Once we get this guy moved around. You just never know what's going to happen. I 
I know the little guys are so cute. These little canvases are just adorable. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a little garland out of them. But yeah, it seemed like a lot of the blue um, definitely got swallowed up in this one. And you really just never know how they're going to turn out. And of course, there's some cells developing here. So the blue may end up peeking out of some of these cells. So it does kind of look like a flower. I don't know. This definitely is unicorn vibes. We nailed that. That's for sure. I think we did pretty good on that part. And then you can definitely see the cells developing here. And there is a little bit of blue coming out of some of these cells too. So you never really know where the color is going to show up. All right. This guy's cute. All right, so what I'm going to do, I think, for these guys tonight is um, we will also, when I auction off this painting, I will also include the baby ornament or the baby version of the painting. These are fun. <laughs> these are cute. And so, um, yeah, we'll do like an ornament out of the little baby painting. I think that would be fun. So for this one, um, I'll auction off the baby painting with the other painting. And um, yeah, this is cute. He's a little cutie. These frames are tiny. Isn't that fun? It's a cutie. Cutie, little cutie painting. All right, so for that one, we'll do both of them. And that one's just for fun. That would be cute for, I don't know. You can make an ornament out of it. You could do, you could hang it up at your desk. You could hang it up in your dog's doghouse. And then there's the silver. So that's definitely going to dry more metallic-y. And then it goes into, um, you can see some natural cell action occurring here. And then you can also see some of the blue underneath in the cells. But it looks like it got a lot of the blue. And that's the thing, you never really know. You can start out with a certain color scheme in mind or certain colors, and they will end up a little bit different. So, there's that guy. I don't know what we would call this one. Maybe Silver Daisy would be a good name for this. So I'm gonna write that down. Silver Daisy. Um, I don't know. Unicorn Burst. That's a good one. Glitter in the Wind. That's creative. I love glitter. Who doesn't love glitter? Silver Chrysanthemum. Chrys Chrys Silver chrysan Chrysanthemum. There we go. Can't pronounce anything. Chrysanthemum. Yeah, usually you print it. Usually you mispronounce everything, but now I'm mispronouncing it. Bubblegum. Definitely bubblegum vibes. Ghost screams. I like it. Willow. Oh yeah, Willow vibes for sure. That's cool. I like it. Uh, Roy G. Biv is going to be the next one. So we got to pick out our Roy G. Biv colors. Tutti Frutti. When I, think, when I hear that, I always think of the song. Move this guy back. Oh, Unicorn Dreams. That's a good one. I didn't get that one. Thank you. Unicorn Dreams. 
Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit's pretty good. So there's this guy. We got lots of nice little cells coming through here. And then definitely daisy vibes. And then you've got these nice natural cells. Really, really pretty because we didn't mix any cells in here. So those are all natural. There's that guy. And then you've got your little baby painting here. So that's that situation. Hubba Bubba Gum. Yeah, Unicorn Dreams is a good one. Definitely Princess Vibes. Okay, so let me go ahead and start this guy off. I know the little paintings are so cute. Like I said, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but this guy is going to, you get the baby painting too. That way if anybody wants to make a magnet or a, I don't know, you probably do a couple different things with them. I just hadn't figured it out yet. I kind of want to make a garland of uh, baby paintings. I think that would be really fun. All right, let's get in view there. So there's that guy. Um, but yeah, definitely daisy vibes on this one. You could add glitter to this one. You could add glass to this one. You could add nothing to this one. You can kind of do whatever you want with this guy, but this is really pretty. Definitely kind of like flowers in the wind vibes. Unicorn vibes. Could be mermaid vibes a little bit too. Um, but yeah, I just love the natural cells in this one. Natural cells are so fun. They always end up really, really pretty. It's definitely a different type of look, but it's always really pretty. And it's cool that you guys can really see the difference um, in the different types of cells too. Congratulations to Sandy Mermaid. You are the winner. Yeah, the strainer effect. It always, I don't know, to me it always ends up looking kind of like daisies. So congratulations, you get to name the painting. And you can name it whatever you want. And we also have some good names for you. Pink Shore, let me write that down too. And I'll let you know what the suggestions are. Um, Silver Daisy, Unicorn Burst, Glitter in the Wind, Silver Chrysanthemums, Ghost Screams, Willow, Tutti Fruity, Unicorn Dreams, and Pink Shore. So, we got a couple of good choices for you. Um, Daisy Dream, I'll add that to the list too. So those are some good names. If you're interested in those guys. Yeah, the little one. That'd be cool like on a keychain or something too, or like uh, for a desk. That would be awesome. Unicorn Dreams. Perfect. And would you like to accessorize your painting, Sandy? Oh my god, a little mini easel. Those are so cute. I love the mini stuff. You know one of my favorite things is like the mini cooking videos on YouTube? If you guys have never seen those, you should check them out. They're like the little mini cooking videos. They have like the little mini food and the little mini forks and knives and pans. It's so cool. Yep, backpack ornament. There's a lot of different things you could use it for, for sure. What do you guys think? Sandy is open to suggestions. We like getting some different ideas, doing some, having some different input on thoughts here. <laughs> Okay, glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Pure pressure. <laughs> She's like, what can we do here? Somebody's got to have a great idea for this one. We've got glitter pretty much every color in this painting. We have, uh, of course, our glass. And then we have our powdered glitter. If you want to give it more of like a dusted, powdery glitter look. So we could go really any direction with this. Okay, pink glass. <coughs> pink glass. So pink glass. And then what else did we want to add to this guy? It's a purple glass. But I thought you had pink, right? Yeah, pink. So we need a purple.
See, I've got pink glass. I just don't have any purple. I do have purple glitter, though. So I don't know. And I've got, like, pretty much every color of purple that you can imagine. So, I don't know. Sometimes glass and glitter look pretty, or you can mix some of the colors, something like that. Okay, so purple glitter. So I'll show you the purple colors that we have, but where were you thinking that you were wanting it? Like on the silver or on maybe a certain color, like some, there's some pink tendrils coming out. You could do that. You could put it, let's see, silver, then there's a little pink, then there's a little purple. Kind of some different options. You could do a corner near the pink. Okay, do you want to, we're accessorizing our painting with some glass. So we're adding a little bit of glass to this guy. And yeah, we're gonna add purple glitter too. Okay. I'm gonna do the glass do first. The glass yeah, okay. so do you want it on the silver near the pink or actually on the pink? Like how near the pink, like on it or like right next to it, like line up. Um, against it because it's got let's see we've got some pink here we've got pink there we've got pink there and there so we've definitely got like four lines of pink almost that go across on that guy against it okay yeah we're just adding a little bit of glass on this guy to give it a little a little look here so I'm gonna kind of lightly add it on and that's kind of how we start and then that way um you can tell me if you want more or not, but I'm just kind of lightly lining the pink area. And then I'll add the uh, purple glitter wherever you want that. I'm going to start with our pink here. Just give it a little extra. Because there's nothing wrong with being a little extra. All right, let's take a look at it. And then you can tell me if you want more. Like I said, I do start off with kind of a light dusting of it because some people are less as more people and some people are more as more people. And so we can always add more, but taking it um, off is not so easy. Probably could do that with tweezers, but I don't know. Might be kind of hard. But we like to do a close-up look and then I will uh, zoom the camera back a little bit so that you can kind of get a good idea of the amount that's in uh, on this. So we got it added to the pink areas for sure. And what are you thinking about this guy? Do you want more or... Because it's really easy to add some more. Totally up to your taste here. Okay, so we want to not add more and then we want to do the purple glitter. Now, do you want the purple glitter in the same area as the pink glass, or do you want to put it somewhere different? Because we've got some purple areas, we've got our pink areas, and then we've kind of got our silver areas. So we can really do anything here. Oh, and by the way, we you know we had our silver foil flakes. We also have copper foil flakes and gold foil flakes now, just FYI, so that you guys know. What do you guys think about the purple glitter? And then let me get out the purple glitter so you can see your choices. Because I do have a variety of purples. So we need to pick the one that you like the best. Um, so I'm going to grab all my purples here. This might take a while. I've got a lot of glitter. <laughs> We've got a lot of glitter in here. She's got lots of purple. I wouldn't say that's a problem. <laughs> I, I don't think there is such a thing as too much glitter. I have to be honest with you. Alright, so I've got these two purples. Oh, that, all that drama for two. I had to look through everything. <laughs> I want to make sure I got all the good choices here. Um, and so we have a lighter purple. This is a definitely lighter. And then this guy's darker. So you could mix them together. You could do one or the other. Totally up to you. 
All right, so you want to do the lighter guy? Okay. Oh, man, I just can't tell the difference between the two. <laughs> what? I can't tell the difference between the two. See? Nope. Okay. Well, they're different purples. <laughs> she wants the lighter one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. And they can see the difference. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's see. What are you thinking about placement? What do you guys think? Sandy is open to suggestions. This is a really pretty purple glitter, too. I think this one matches perfectly. We need our best suggestions to help Sandy out. We have our silver area. Or, I mean, you know, or because it's so light, we could dust it all over the painting, too. Oh, this is what Taja was saying. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You could do it on the silver area. You could dust it all over. Okay, perfect. And did you want me to also dust it on this little guy too? We can always add glass to him as well. <laughs> He's cute. He's a little cutie. A little cutie painting. Get a mini me painting too. Mm -hmm. I think these are really cute. Okay, we're going to do the baby painting, too. And then we can figure out if you want some pink glass on the little baby painting, too. Because I don't know. It'd be fun. All right. I have to find the small pieces. They're Put cute. Unicor unicorns on the baby painting. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> that wasn't her, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to hold this up pretty high because I want it to be evenly dusted on this painting. Easily just evenly distributed throughout the studio right we want to make sure we get so it's not like you know you know that's not going to just stay on the painting i mean you know to find glitter on my feet you know. that's the best thing ever i don't know why you're talking about that like it's a problem we got our little guy over <coughs> there we got a nice layer nice layer of glitter it's so pretty we are loving this glitter this looks awesome okay i better ask you if you want more or not before i put more all over it all right let's do a close-up so you can see it's lightly been dusted and we can always add more if you would like to but I just want to give you an idea because I will go overboard with the glitter if you let me. So yeah, this is what she considers a light dusting. <laughs> it is a light dusting. <laughs> see, isn't that pretty? You can really see it right there. Look at that. <laughs> sparkling, sparkling. Yeah, the light, light gives it nice little sparkles. I like it. <laughs> what do you think? You think we need some more or... Let's do a close-up. See that? <clears throat> Ooh, look at that. That's More pretty. At the bottom. That's so pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, we'll do more at the bottom. In the darker areas. Okay. Just some more of that beautiful glitter. Just the darker areas. <laughs> That's where I'm getting it. <laughs> got lots of good suggestions for you on this guy. And let's see, I got it all in the darker area. And she goes back for more. Well, we want to make sure it's like got <laughs> the appropriate amount of glitter. You already know that. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it in the darker areas now. I like it. Isn't that pretty? You know, you gotta have a little sparkle. Or maybe a lot of sparkle. Yeah, when the light hits it, it looks cool. Yeah. Look at that. Mmm. Glitter, glitter. And the metallic silver, the camera doesn't do it justice. It kind of looks gray in the camera, but it's definitely a silver. Yeah. Well, and it also dries that way, too. Yeah. 
uh, it also... I can't see the paint. <laughs> there's the little guy. That's what we like. <laughs> and then there's our baby painting. Yeah. Just a... We don't need paint. We'll just do a whole painting of glitter. <laughs> Why not? Don't, oh, don't Sandy, do you want to add any glass to this little guy? Because we forgot to add glass to the little one. Where do you want the glass? You want pink glass on this one too? And where do you want it? <laughs> Get your tweezers out. <laughs> He's cutie. You have to put a piece of glass one by one. Um, we start the auction off at $5. And we just kind of go from there. Except for the bigger frames, we start those off at seven. Yeah, we could do a little bit on the corners. We could do it in the white area. We could do it on the purple. He kind of looks area. like a little snake. Yeah, the white area would be cool. Give it a little texture. Yeah, it looks cool in any of these little. That's what, the white area. what? Oh, that's what she wants, the white area? Thank you. Those are the ones I'm trying to read to you. Thank you. Sorry. You, you can read the rest yourself. I'm not going to read every line. <laughs> but am I your slave? I don't know. You could be my assistant. You guys are welcome for all the buttons I've made. Anyway, <laughs> I made a lot of the buttons too. I don't even want to hear it. This little cute guy is so adorable. She made four. No, I didn't. I made way more than that. I made like 400 and you made four. I've made a couple batches. And two of them were like sideways. Look at this little cutie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I am. Hershey knows. Oh my God. Look at that little cutie. <laughs> oh. These little ones are adorable. Yeah, we don't like to call it slavery. We refer to it as being an assistant. Okay? Yeah. The painting you received may be uh, smaller than it's perceived on camera. <laughs> Just send you the two-inch one. <laughs> Sorry, that's shrinkflation for you. <laughs> yeah, little ones are pretty awesome. That little guy is adorable. <laughs> that's fun. You can do all kinds of stuff with <laughs> yeah, those guys. $7 Poshmark shipping for the... <laughs> for the tiny little guy. <laughs> yep. And then look at that. Ooh, look at that magnificent glitter. See that sparkle? Yeah. That, that just that happened. <laughs> I like the glitter. Yeah, the glitter is always a nice touch. Let's yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure she doesn't keep it and send you just the little one. <laughs> it's like those things you order off wish.com that you know look like it's the full size thing you get and it's two inches big <laughs> like, <Right. laughs> that's funny that's true that's so true too <laughs> That's funny. The wish version. That's the wish com the com version of the painting. All right. Yeah, that's actually a pretty okay idea. Mm -hmm. Do a couple of little guys for the paintings and or for each painting you do. Yeah. And then you can make a set for like each night. <laughs> they can sell. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be cool. I, I like your. I like that you're putting one in with each painting, but it'd be cool to have just a set of all the paintings. And yeah, that's what Isabel was saying. An extra little one of each of the paintings. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. They're super cute. We can do some uh, little guys definitely while we're doing this because those are pretty easy to do. They clearly don't take a lot of paint. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me see where are we at here. <laughs> Um, all right, we're doing Roy G. Biv. So let's get our Roy G. Biv together here. The Roy G. Biv right after the uniform. Nice. Yeah, Talking we gotta mix it up a little bit. Today. Yeah. 
got our nice bright colors here. So let me grab, uh, where are we? R for Roy. <laughs> That's not the right size lid. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll definitely do some little guys. Um, that's okay. I'll make a bundle for you after we get them together. Because these little guys are easy to do. Oh, that'd be cool. You should do coasters. I guess coasters would, would be, be cool. I just don't know. Somehow waterproof. Yeah, we'd have to make them. I think we heavy. have to do like Mod Podge on them or something. I'd have to look that yeah. up and see what they recommend. Because I think that'd be fun. So let's see. We've got our Roy R... O Y G Where's our cerulean? That's the one we use. B This is, doesn't start with a B. Indigo Violet. And let's use our metallic violet. We're gonna mix it up. Roy G Biv. That's the situation today. Because we like that. Yeah, resin's an option. You could do a clear resin over them or something. Yeah, you could. You could definitely do resin. Just wondering how the acrylic would stick to something. Cause that, I mean, I'm sure you can buy blank coasters, right? Yeah. Paint would stick to them. That'd be cool. But yeah, I know. I'll look it up because I bet I can find some information about this. We'll get to the bottom of this situation. Using our Google. That sounds like an idea to me, Alec, and I don't know what I'm talking about either. <laughs> no, resin works because <laughs> resin like dries. It's I mean, there's like hard resin and there's softer resin. The harder resin um, definitely dries and you can put stuff on it. So I definitely think there's a way to do it. Exactly. We got to keep mixing it up on here. Okay. We want cells. Do we want cell? Okay. Cells in the Roy. Okay, good idea. Let's do that. That's funny. <laughs> uh, so cells in every other color. R, Y, B, B. Okay. So you can't buy a valve. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's give it a little try here. Let's get some nice jingle cell action. Some jazz cells. Yeah, some jazz jingle cells. Or no. No, ja no jazz jingle cells. No jingles. Okay. We're done with the jingles for today. I just decided. As your assistant. Um, okay. So I'm going to add that after I do the paint. So I'm going to do the silicone and the um, uh, cell medium. So I'll show you what colors we're going to do those guys in. <laughs> don't make fun of the paint bottle noises okay so we're gonna add these guys sandy right now um we've got the silicone drops and the cell medium and they both do the same thing kind of um just in a different way i feel like the cell medium makes like the smaller cells and the silicone drops seem to make bigger cells but that's just my um observation that may not necessarily be the case here So I'm putting the silicone drops in these two, the purple and, or the metallic violet and the yellow. And then um, we're gonna put our cell medium in the blue and the red. Give it some nice jingle cell yeah. action. I would help you mix it, but my hands are still sore from buttons. Oh my gosh, you hadn't made any <laughs> buttons in a week. Why don't you make some buttons while we're sitting here? Make yourself useful. I said I would, but my hands are sore from slave labor. Of what? Where's that? I think her hands look bad. You can see mine. Mine look really bad. <laughs> That's definitely a situation. That's nothing compared to button making. Oh, please. <laughs> it's really easy to make the buttons. It's cool having like a button maker. I would show them, but then Poshmark would probably kick us off and damn it. <laughs> I'm totally not lying. 
That sounds weird. Big chat calling me out on my bluff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen to my boss. Yeah, exactly. Yes, some asses. Complaining about button making. What are no, we going to have next? I have fun with the button machine, too. She knows it. Button machine's fun. So I hope everybody that's gotten one has been happy with it. Thank you, Ursi. I try to make them quality. All right, so I'm adding all of our other colors that are not cells. We're adding all of our non-cell colors as well here. Awesome, out. Yay! And we have fun buttons, too. They're not just the regular buttons. Oh, no. We have uh, magnet slash bottle openers yep. slash mirrors. So and the regular buttons. We have those, too. Yeah. I have a good feeling about this one. Good, Charlie. Honestly, Roy G. Biv is always a winner. Yep. I do have to say. <laughs> these always come out amazing and cool. Because these are like tie-dye colors, you know? These are just fun, bright, cheerful colors. And I love tie-dye. I like to make tie-dye. I went through this tie-dye phase where I tie-dyed everything. I tie-dyed my curtains. I tie-dyed yep. my, all my shirts. I tie-dyed, like, every anything I could find to put tie-dye on, we did it. She is not lying. We had tie-dye everything. We did. And Home, you know what? Homemade tie-dye. It looked amazing. Tie-dye is so fun. This one's going to be awesome. There's a reason why it looked, not looks. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a party in a cup. I feel like I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese or something. Look at that. Okay. Let's not spill that everywhere. And I'm going to do some little mini canvases with all of these. And eventually we'll get to eight. And I'm going to make some for myself too. I'm going to make some for enough for everybody. There you go. Because I want some and you guys want some. <laughs> Party four, party four, party oh four. Oh my god, yes. I was hoping somebody would say that. That's Taj for you. Thank you, Taj. Taj just reads my mind. <laughs> she already knows what's going to happen next. You know we have to do a party pour on that. That's like a Chuck E. Cheese looking cup. Alright, so I'm going to get out three little canvases. Hey, we got to have enough canvases for everybody here. Okay. These are so cute, guys. I just love those. Look at those little guys. Anything miniature is cute. Okay. And then let's do let's do an auction item here. Yep, don't forget about Wendy. I've got a process. If I if I have it like we do it right before I uh, turn the cup over, and that's how I remember it. Helps me remember. Oh, that's really pretty. Let's do the scarf. That'll be different. And if you guys have any requests, just let me know on the request hotline. Request hotline. <laughs> Which is basically just me and my iPad. It's not a real request hotline. So, and um, this guy is going to be a scarf and it is gorgeous. Christmas theme. Um, it's a black and white. And let's take a look at the description. That's beautiful. Reindeer and trees. And it's a Talbot's, which is a really great brand. Let's see. Tab, uh, Talbot's Reindeer and Trees Scarf. 27 inches by 72 inches. Black and white with Christmas trees, reindeer, and polka dot pattern. 100% rayon. I bought two and never used one. Brand new with tags in the bag it was shipped in. So this is really, really cute. And we'll take it back to this. And then there's the... Um, yeah. Real pretty pattern there. And then the tags. So you guys know it's new with tags. And then there's that kind of view. You can see the reindeer. You can see some ornaments and stuff. There's a Christmas. And some more views. And then there it is on a mannequin. So this is really, really pretty, guys. This is a great, great scarf. Christmas is only 15 days away. I know. Hard to believe. It feels like this month has kind of flown by. I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but Definitely. I feel like it's kind of flown by. But that's what this guy looks like. And this is going to be new 
in the package with tags. So this is a really, really pretty quality item here. And then let's take a look at some of the detail here. This is really pretty. You could definitely wear this during the Christmas season. This would look really great with a jacket, maybe with just some jeans and a sweater. And the pattern's okay. awesome. And, through the snow. and it's black and white, so it'll match with anything. It's yeah. not like an ugly Christmas sweater that's like multicolored. This is like <laughs> nice, classy scarf here. Yeah, Todd likes the red sweater and jeans. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty with that for sure. That's something she would walk through the snow in, the red sweater. And I love the scarf. Oh my gosh, congratulations <laughs> to DK. DK, you are the winner. Yes, DK. And Wendy's a very fast shipper, so we've got that going for us too, which is pretty good. That is going to look gorgeous on you. Just gorgeous. Congrats. Let me grab our next frame here while I'm over here in this area. So this is, this is an 11 by 14 frame. Canvas. Canvas. Sorry. Can't be mixing up your frames with canvas. Sorry. Right now. That's why I'm here. I'm the assistant. Oh, my God. Like I said, I think we're going to start pushing back the times of these shows during the week so that he's not here. Everybody wanted me to come in from the doghouse. <laughs> Almost everybody. <laughs> Almost. Except for the artist. <laughs> Almost everyone, all right? Oh, thank you. See, it I was got... cold out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a little cold out there. <laughs> it's nice and warm. Quit complaining. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, this just screams Chuck E. Cheese birthday party. Yeah, that is some... I am primary loving this. There. Yeah, I love Roy G. Biv. Or primary this is secondary. definitely one of my favorite color schemes for sure. So I'm really glad yeah, ball pit. that definitely. you brought this one up. It looks like a McDonald's ball pit or a Chuck E. Cheese ball, it does. ball pit. It really does. All you right. know your cup's not in the middle, right? It's pretty much <laughs> in the middle. Give me a freaking break here. Nobody has time for that. This is this slacking Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> is your mom slacking Saturday? Oh, 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 oh. All right. <laughs> party for party for. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Yep. Make sure you get those little canvases a little bit. I am. I'm gonna drip this paint on them too. Yep. This already looks freaking awesome. Okay. You got some cells bursting. Ooh! Through. Look at our colors in our cup. We got some crazy looking colors in here. I see blue. We're loving it. There's purple, there's green, <laughs> and blue. Nobody cares what you see. <laughs> All right. Living color. That's a good, good titles. I would write them down, but she would yell at me. So. No, because if you write them down, we can't read it. <laughs> We're trying to actually read this. Okay. I'm just... Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. We got some paint on the phone. Man down, man down. All right. At least it didn't go in the painting. You know what? Uh, we were waiting for that to happen, and it finally happened. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. It's... <laughs> I dropped you. I'm so sorry. I dropped you guys on your heads. How many people did you drop at once? Jeez. <laughs> 45 people you dropped? I dropped you guys on your heads. I'm so sorry. I like those yellow and blue cell orbs. <laughs> Lawsuits incoming. <laughs> My neck hurts. My neck hurts. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. That's awesome. That's really pretty. Here they go with the neck injuries. Have you seen that Night at the Roxbury? Yeah. Uh, they're already starting with the neck injuries. Oh, my God. Um, all right. All right. We're covering our little paintings. Calling my lawyer. <laughs> Call <him. laughs> Call the lawyer. Yep. That would that would actually work as a space jam. Oh yeah, this could be a space jam. <laughs> you already know. There she goes with her planets again. Could be a planet. 
There's still a white spot on the other corner. Oh my god, you're so annoying. <laughs> we see it. Just want to make sure. You guys are going to be sorry you told him to come in here. Taja, I'm blaming you. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> Space Jam Part 5. Yeah, I love this one. I mean, you can't go wrong with yeah. Roy G. Biv. You got some peacock colors coming. Roy G. Biv is the king. I just want some more of this metallic purple in here. I want to know where you put, how you got that brown in there. What brown? <laughs> oh, it's the orange. And... It's orange. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at. I'm looking at the monitor. Roy G. Biv. Okay, I guess the B could be for the brown, but who would do that? Nobody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that way a little bit. Definitely. Get that brown smudge moving down. <laughs> it's orange. The camera makes it look brown, but yes, it is orange in real life. <laughs> you are not helping. I'm trying to sell paintings here. No, you're not. You're telling everybody it's brown. <laughs> and this is Roy G. Biv. This is Space Jam Part 8. Yeah. <laughs> Starring Gary Coleman. <laughs> I don't know who's in the movie. I was trying to think of the opposite of Michael Jordan, so <laughs> Gary Coleman came to mind. It's because he's short. Yeah. And Michael Jordan is tall. Exactly. Short and tall. That I guess like we, really do, cool. we do have little paintings. I don't know. <laughs> too long, Alex. Too long. Oh, God. Like 800 years. What is that? You know that one Titanic meme? <laughs> yeah. It's been 100 <laughs> years. Welcome back to Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Yep. Get your little mini. <laughs> that, there's still some white on it. Because we're... <laughs> and there's no brown smudge on that one, so it doesn't match. Stop talking. Okay. Please. <laughs> please. Just please. please. Actually, that one does match pretty good with the... Like, I know, right? Look at it. <laughs> it looks just <laughs> like it. It's even got the little yellow spot. <laughs> All right, we're totally doing these little mini canvases tonight for whatever reason. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing three because I'm doing like one for me, one for the magnets, and one for the painting, if that makes sense. Yep. None for the assistant, by the way. Yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> I think this one should go with the painting, though, because this one is like a little mini version of it. Okay, so we've got Space Jam 8, Space Jam 9, Space Jam 10. Yep. The mini me version. I like the little ones. They are. They're cool. I'm glad those came today, just in time. Exactly. I knew we'd find something to do with these. A little Austin Powers going groovy, bye bye. Yep, pretty much. All right, could you hold this like that for a minute? That may take a minute. You just hold that over there, okay? All right. You may as well do something while you're sitting there. Okay. I am. I'm making the perfect painting over here while you're... Making other paintings? God knows what over there. <laughs> so we've got our little paintings here, and we'll do a close-up on these guys, but these are our little baby paintings. And this is our magnet slash a little painting. So we're doing mini me, I guess, kind of a mini me painting theme tonight.
I don't know how we got to this point, but this is kind of fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're doing little mini canvases too. This Roy G. Biv is great though. Gotta say. It's just crazy how the, the paint even like miniaturizes. Yeah. Like, like I see little tiny, tiny cells in this little guy. Come on, float that corner. See that? This is harder than it Yeah, than see? Camera. See? Oh, you missed the corner. It's not that easy, <laughs> is it? It's not that easy. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. So, we've got some delicious cells developing here. Okay, there's our little mini guys. Aren't they cute? Oh, nice they're so too. adorable. Look at but them. It actually works pretty good just letting them flow over. It's Look at cool. them. That's the one I did. Okay, Everybody see the difference. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. They all look the same. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's our metallic purple and then our blue. And then we've got some really nice cell action down here. <clears throat> we've got some cells, cell sections. We've got some cells within a cell. The red's really awesome. Enough. And so we have to name this guy. There's a lot of purple in this one. That's pretty. And there's yeah. the orange. One of the good kind of acid trips, not the bad one. The orange. And then here's our little guys. They're just adorable. I like the little paintings. The little paintings are fun. They, I don't know what kind of purpose they serve yet, but um, we're going to we're gonna do something fun with them. Yeah, like I, I said, one pack. for... One for the magnets, one for me, and one for the winner of the painting. So if you win this painting, you also get one of the little baby versions, just because that's what we're doing tonight. Okay. So, okay, Acid Trip, that's a good name for it. I'm going to suggest... I like Ball Pit. I'm going to suggest Roy G. Biv, because... Oh, that's what we call. <laughs> I don't think we've ever named one Roy G. Biv, and that's what we're doing, right? It makes sense to name it that. Azul Magic. It's just a suggestion. Okay. Like, why haven't we named one of these Roy G. Bivs Roy G. Biv yet? Because it's stupid, man. Azul Magic. That's pretty. Intergalactic. 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 I like that. Been in here for five minutes. I got glitter in my eye. <laughs> it looks yes, definitely. Let's call it bottom of the ocean. Oh, I've got a good name suggestion. Return to Titanic. <laughs> Has nothing to do with the painting, but yeah. you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, in living color. Don't forget about. Oh, that that's a good one. Dino That's evolution. That's a really good one. I like that. In living color. Dino with a Y. Dino evolution. Like it. I like the way, yeah, I like the spelling too. Dino evolution. See, so we got some really good names for this guy. This is really pretty and fun for sure. And uh, don't forget it comes with a mini me. I like the mini me's. These are fun. Like I said, I don't know exactly where we're going with the mini me's yet, but we're gonna definitely going to figure something out. I'm definitely going to do something with them. So this is painting <laughs> number eight. Glitter, glitter, glitter. You know glitter is always an option. We're always uh, excited about glitter over here. So there's this guy. Up. Yeah, got it started up. And this is 11 by 14. And it's going to come with the little baby mini painting and then the 11 by 14 painting. So you got a couple, uh, you can do whatever you want with the little guy for sure. And then this is our Roy G. Biv. And we do have some great name suggestions for you because everybody in here is super talented and has really original, cool names. Yep. So we have some good wins. suggestions for you as well. I mean, when Taj wins, she can <laughs> decide if she wants to accessorize or not. Yeah, it's up to you, Taj. Good. Well, first we have to name it, and then you oh, pick the, it. Yeah, sorry. the naming it is first, and then the accessories come after the naming it. Oh, sorry. I'm out of order there. Boss. Get it right. Sorry, boss. 
All right, let's take a look at it so that way Taj can be inspired for the name. And then I'm going to read the name suggestions. Acid Trip, Roy G. Biv, Azul Magic. Ah, oh, I love it. That's a great one. That way we didn't have to sit through a reading wall. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break, man. It's Saturday, you don't get a break. Okay, so apparently neither do you. You're the no, one I complaining don't. about like being in forced labor. And that is a great name, Todd. Good job. Yeah, I love the name. I think that's perfect for this guy for sure. And then you get to pick your accessories. See, this is the part where we do the accessories now. Too bad she likes it as is. It comes no, you after don't. the naming of the painting. No, you don't. She likes it as is. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, this one's really cool. And there's some really neat cells developing in this guy, too. Yeah, it is really cool. The Roy G. Bibs are always a winner. Yeah, look at the cells, though. That almost looks like a little mountain. In living color is a great choice of a name. Yeah, because there's lots of colors. A lot of colors. Yep. It's one of those you can stare at and see something new each time you look at it. No lightning bolts, Taj? Oh, my corners. goodness. No, I'm just kidding. It's like, enough with the lightning bolts. This isn't Harry Potter. Please stop. All right. Well, you, you can accessorize your little guy. That's true. I could put lighting on bolts on my little guy. I think I'm going to leave it as is, though. Sorry, my posh sister. She said no. Ask Taj if she wants to accessorize the baby painting or leave the baby painting <laughs> as is. Taj said she saw a basketball player and a face. I see the face. I'm <laughs> looking at the face right now. Space Jam! No, it's kidding. not Space Jam. <laughs> I know. I, like I said, I would name every painting Space Jam. That's why you guys don't let me do the names. Yeah. Okay. And we don't need any more paintings. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume she wants her little one to stay as the Okay. One, well, we have but... to ask to make sure. Taj, would you like to accessorize your smaller one? Yes. No, yes, she wants to leave it the same. See, lag, that's what that was. <laughs> no accessories. Yep, called it. I'm good. Okay. Well, you already know. Well, that's you why know. I'm the assistant. You're on the same page, page as Taj. Sometimes. Taj seems to have good taste. Yeah, that's true. So that would be the opposite of your page. Then. <laughs> <laughs> They really want to see something accessorized on one of the small ones. Okay, you can do that. <laughs> Let's accessorize this guy then. Must please the audience. Because this is going to be my version of it, so we'll accessorize my version of it. How does that sound? Isabel said they'd be fine with it being accessorized too in her magnet set. Which wants to buy you. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, you want a little glass on one of yours? Definitely. Um, let's see, one of the little ones for the mat something random. Surprise okay. me. Um, let's see. Very brave, Isabel. Very brave. I don't know. I'm thinking purple glitter. You may not want me to surprise you. I don't know. There's like lightning bolts. There's like a really cool like purple part in here that might look cool with the glitter. Honestly. I was going to say that's as low as the camera goes for the zoom, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but we can like, hold it. We can hold it over it. See? There's like this little spot of purple. That might look really cool with some glitter. Or we could put a little bit of glass in this yellow piece right here. That might be cool, too. Yep. You want to do whatever Okay, you want. let's put a little bit of glass in this guy. Will you hold this over the thing? Because our uh, tripod doesn't really... Uh, oh, please. Uh, up. Don't scream in the camera on everybody's face. I, I see paint all over the screen of your... You're not even holding it in the middle. <laughs> they can't see that. Look. Yeah, look they the can. I, I can see the chat on your phone. Okay. Get a real close-up of her hands. Look at that knuckle. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> look at my Shrek hands. Alright. Looks like you're putting actual windows on that little tiny guy. Not just pieces of it glass. It looks cute. I like it. I like it with the glass. Can everybody see that? If I stop moving the camera, yep. 
can't even hold the camera properly. I got the shaky hand syndrome. Well, you are standing, like, holding you it over the paint. paint on your front camera. I know. I accidentally <laughs> dropped the phone in it. I'll clean my phone off after I'm done. Yeah. When the... It'll be fine. I'll just peel it off. <sighs> now Taj wants glass. Okay, do you want glass on your little guy or your big guy? The glass is cool, though. You really can't blame her for that one because the glass is fine. Okay? We like it. Isn't he a cutie? Yeah, there you go. Hold the... Well... Yeah. What a little cutie. Don't focus on the other one. Okay, the big one? All right, let me grab that guy because we need to figure out exactly where it's going to go. But the glass is just so nice, guys. It just gives it this little pop pop. It's all good, Taj. Yeah, you, don't you, worry, Taj. You make her walking back and forth as much as you want. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sit. oh, my God. You just sat on the cat. That's what you get. I hope she bites you in the butt. <laughs> That's what you deserve. Why are you in my chair, kitty? See? See what happens when you're a hateful, mean person? I almost squished the poor cat. Yeah. Well, she deserves it, too. She's kind of annoying sometimes. <laughs> I, nice. I, I, Taj. I understand, Taj. I buy presents all the time for other people, and then I end up keeping them. It's kind of a thing. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just say. Yep. Okay, so what colored glass do we want on this guy? And where do we want it? And do we want it on your mini painting too? Because do they have to match or no? I don't know. We might want them to match. She wants the same as the magnet, I think. Okay. So what colored glass did you do on the last one? And where did you put it? Um, I did uh, clear slash silver. And I just put it, like, on one of the spots. So if it were equivalent, I would say, like, maybe on the purple. Kind of sprinkled in the purple. Um, we could also sprinkle it, like, on the blue. Like, on this line here. I would think there's probably a couple different ways to do it, for sure. And we can actually, yeah, we can mix the blue and the silver together, too. That's always an option. And then let me get the little guy. We may want to accessorize this little guy. It's up to Taj. You gotta match them for sure. But she may want them to be twins. You wanna be sisters, not twins. That's eyebrows. Oh. Yes, Taj was thinking the purple section. Okay, cool. And then we've also got this little guy. Which also has a purple section. Which also has a purple section. <laughs> So we that could face is posh sister. Yeah. Eyebrows. She's doing eyebrows. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we wanted the blue and the silver mixed together or just the silver? Because we did the silver on the other one, just silver. She wants it on the purple section of the big one, the blue section, the little one, just okay. silver. Okay. Perfect. I got you. Let me do this little guy first. This is cool. These little paintings are so fun. Why are these so cool? I don't know. Little guy in the blue? Yeah, I'm putting it in the blue and the little guy. Do you know what color blue is? What? Shut do not. <laughs> do not. Just like, you know, like the little mini cooking shows I was talking about earlier. If you guys watch uh, mini cooking on YouTube, oh yeah, they the do mini. like they have like a little kitchen. They have a little knife. They have like the tiny little. It looks like doll, uh, doll or Barbie size pots and pans, yeah. and the little pieces of chicken. Oh, have you guys God. seen the mini cooking shows? You guys, look it up. You'll thank me later. <laughs> like they're so fun to watch. Okay, let's do a close-up. And then, Taj, if you would like more of this, just let me know. Because you know we got to work our way up. But look how pretty that metallic purple is. It's just gorgeous. It almost looks like it's raining through the clouds. And there's the face, guys, if you guys didn't see the face. Oh, wow. See? There's the nose. See the nose? 
And there's the face. It could actually be two faces because the orange could make a face yeah. too. What's it say? It's a faceception. It's a face within a face. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna add a little bit another more. One, another one. Yeah, isn't that cool? You know she doesn't know the word little bit, right? <laughs> Yes, I, I do. That's, I that's why. Two words. But that's why we do it in um, sweeps. Yep. You know, we'll do it one time and then we'll make another sweep until we get the appropriate amount of glass. Because that's that's why we do it like yes, that. Yes, I know. I sat on you. Go back and go to bed. Go to bed. Now let's take a close up on this guy, and then we can really figure it out. It does. It's in the front of the orange face. Okay, we gotta see the basketball player now. Yep. Zoom out. Yeah, the glass makes it really fun. Aren't they fun? Um, we usually start the auctions off at five dollars, except for the bigger frames, and we start those off at seven. And um yeah, this one we just auctioned off, and so we're just decorating it and adding a few glass pieces to accessorize it. Okay, let's find the ball player. It's in front of the orange face holding the ball oh, in yeah. the air. Oh, I see it. The purple. Right there. Yep. Isn't that cool? You guys see that? And then you got a whole bunch of red eyeballs below it. These are cellceptions. <laughs> it does kind of look like a little eyeball. <laughs> that one does, definitely. But really, <laughs> the cells do kind of look like That's it. So I like about these paintings. Every time you look at it, you see something new. And then look at these cells in the bottom. That almost looks like a flower. That's wild. Very, very pretty. The glass was a nice touch. And of course, we have glass on our little mini guy, too, which <laughs> I can't get over these. Look how cute these little paintings are. There you go. Oh, back in the center. There you go. Isn't that adorable? That's and then you can cool. see the glass like shimmering and it's shining. Got one purple cell on it that matches the other one. Yeah, that's why I picked this one for to go with that one because this one looks the most like that one. It's cute. Look at that little cutie. What is she gonna come up with next? Jeez. <laughs> I don't know. We try to keep it interesting and try doing different things on here so that it doesn't get. Too yep. much of the same. Picture frames, mini paintings. The mini ones are adorable. They're so cute. Yeah, the glass looks really pretty on the uh, corners. I like the way it looks. That's one of my favorite ways to do it is to put it like in a corner. Um, it just always ends up looking nice. Or you can do it like on a certain color or in a corner. But they, I don't know, they just always turn out really good. Gives it a good, good more dimension. Look at that sparkle and dimension. What a lovely Roy G. Bev. See you in a cycler. <laughs> Thank you, Taj. I can't wait for you to get this little guy, too. These little ones are cute. Yeah, you'll like the little guy, too. I'm obsessed with these little ones now. Yep, we, we're starting to put together a set of the other uh, other little ones that if Isabel wants to buy them, we can, we'll have some at the end of our show or... I'm going to make a bundle for after her. After we have eight. I'll make a bundle for her, and then uh, we may auction off after we get a, enough of them to, like, be an auction, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet they are, Taj. They're fun. <laughs> your, your paintings are now... Taj wallpaper. has wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> they are really fun to look at, and they do give it just a little extra. Yeah, the mini ones are adorable. I'm so glad I got these. I'm going to order a couple more boxes from Amazon since everyone likes them. I definitely want to make something with them. But yeah, this is a mini canvas. It's a 24 pack and they're two by two. And honestly, I got this idea from Teresa because Teresa made me this awesome magnet. And she did a pour painting on this little guy because she knows I like pour paintings. Isn't that cute? They're just fine. And I think they'd make nice ornaments, too. There's probably a lot of different things that we could do with these guys. Let me get our paint tray out of the way, and we'll get... Alex said they'd buy some, a set of small ones, too. Yeah, the small ones are so fun. I'll definitely get another box of these guys. Do you go outside, dog? And we'll figure out something to do with them. Hey, buddy. 
Buddy! Oh, I want a flea boy. Oh my gosh, we can make a little uh, collar painting necklace for you, buddy. But he's like, I would hate that. Leave me alone. Yep. Okay, red, green, gold, silver. Just what a boy dog needs is a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Country Roads wants to buy some small magnets, too. They're so cute! What is our next? Painting. Um, yeah, we can do some mini ones for this guy if you guys want. The next one is, let's see, red, green, gold, and silver. Ah, the Christmas Eve. And we could do little guys for You're this. Right. You knew what painting it was before. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's try it. We're all about trying different things here. Uh, they're just asking if we can make some extra ones from this one. Oh, but yeah, But if you yeah, want yeah. to just do minis, you can add. I don't know. I, I thought they just wanted minis, but we can do, uh, we can definitely do some minis of this guy. Wendy would love mini Xmas ones as well. Okay. Well, I mean. I don't know. Can you stack like eight of them together and, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. Do a pour over them or is that something we can need to prepare beforehand? I think we can do that. Or we can do like nine, a three by three. Square. Let me see. That's what we're talking about, Jerby. Or four by four would be sixteen. No. Can we do a half cup for nine. Yeah, let's do nine. Do you guys want to do that, or do you guys just want some extras put in? Because like we could do like nine of them, and that's like a little square. I think they're cute. I just don't know if you guys that's... like this color scheme for these guys. So we'll just do these, and we can auction these guys off as a painting. These little cuties. We can do one more row of three and make it a 12-er. Hmm? Make it a rectangle one more row of three uh, and make it a 12. Uh, I kind of want to save the rest of these till I get some more. Okay. I mean, and then we could do like an extra two on them just for other stuff. Because every time I pour, I'm trying to like do some extra ones. Yep. So I can have one, and we can have one for the magnets. Yeah, no, I think nine's probably good. Yeah. Right. We'll just stick with a nice prime number like nine. Yeah, because this is like a cube. So my OCD doesn't go all crazy. And then these two extras are just going to be for magnets and for other stuff. And then we'll auction these guys the off. Over of the... Yeah. Well, I like that. Hmm. What? Why, yeah. are, why are you making this complicated? I'm not. I'm just, there's like, okay. <laughs> I'll shut up. You somebody wants to buy nine minis, and that's fine. I don't know if they I, like. We'll try it. Yep. Well, we'll do nine, and then we'll have some extras for the magnet set. Yeah. And we can keep one or whatever. Yeah, that works. Let me unwrap all these little guys. They've all got little wrapping on them. So you want to do a set of four then? Oh wait. Four is a cube, too. <laughs> do a little quarter cup. <laughs> yeah, we could definitely do that. So we'll do um, these four together, and then we'll do these two extras for whatever reason. So two sets of four. That works. Then we'll be an odd number. You know, odd numbers drive me crazy. Well, we're going to do the four <laughs> ornaments, and then we're going to do, like... We'll do three extras. Three extras? Yeah. That's weird. It makes sense to me. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Don't worry. Okay. Angela wants a set of four, too. Oh, okay. So two awesome. Two people that want a set of four. Let's do two sets of four. Okay. I get what you're saying just now. Just make the crowd happy. Okay. Well, I'm confused. I get easily confused. Just I didn't know Angela the, wanted some, too, that color. Neither. Until now. <laughs> okay, then. 
all right, so we'll do two sets of four and we'll auction them off as uh, painting nine, painting 10, and then I'll just do a quick ad for the breast cancer theme painting 10. And we'll do painting 11, if that makes any sense, guys. Nope. Okay, well it does to some of us, okay? All right, so let's get our colors together. That would be the most important thing. All right, so we're gonna need our red first. So let me get our colors that we have for red out, and you guys can tell me what you think about these. <laughs> got red. Yeah, we're, we're putting those together, Posh Sister, no worries. We've got green. We have a little bit of this guy left. I need to go back to Hobby Lobby because that's the only place I can get these pearl paints. I'm usually more of a Michaels kind of girl, but we got to have the colors. So whoever has the colors, that's where we have to go. Um, gold. Where are you? There we go. There's our gold. And then we've got our silver. Where are you, silver? Silver. <clears throat> I know silver. Paging silver. There's our silver. All right. I think we got this figured out. Yeah, Isabel wants eight magnets, but I think the different magnets, yep. like of each painting. I already handled that question. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. Okay. That's why I'm the assistant. Anyway, okay. So I think we know what we're doing now. So for our colors for the red, and we can do one or both or all, Angela we've got magenta. crimson, we've got maroon slash burgundy, and then we've got this pearl red. Where's the magenta? In the middle. I mean, this is deep magenta. It says magenta deep, but this is really like uh, a burgundy or a maroon. Uh, that's just not going to work. Okay, magenta, both greens, and silver. I got you. We can just get it a little quieter in here. All right. Just um, right. I'm answering the chat before you can read it. Both greens, silver. Got you. What about gold? Do we want gold or copper in this or just the silver? Because we do have choices. Had gold on the list, but. Yeah, that's the colors that were suggested, but then we kind of like look at them and we think about them and we go from there usually. Okay. Okay, boss. Wendy says he has to do gold. So. Okay, let's do the gold for sure. And I'm thinking we do want to do like kind of a natural, um, like natural pour on this one. And then let me see. We've got to do the natural. extras. Huh? No that? cells, just because oh, yeah. these guys are tiny. And yeah. so I feel like if we did a cell on this, like what if we get yeah, this whole painting is cell. like one big cell? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I mean, that might be cool, but I don't know. I don't think we're trying to do that. And then we're going to have our extras here for um, whatever projects. Yep. So we're doing two sets of four. All right. Maybe you should have said you were just doing one and they could have fit it out. <sighs> Damn it. My bad. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're figuring this out as we go. One green. Uh oh, one green. Which I green? Like the more Christmassy green, in my opinion. They're both Christmas greens. Hmm. We'll see what the chat thinks. <laughs> Country Rose likes both greens. The dark green for Wendy. The brighter, less aqua green. Yeah, this one definitely looks teal in the camera, but it's green. It's just some, for some reason, I think it's because it's a duochrome color, which is kind of weird. So it's, it's up to you, artist. See that guy? It's kind of hard to tell. It definitely looks teal, but it's definitely green. It's just kind of weird. And I think plus when it's next to this real green color, it doesn't look as green. I don't know. It's kind of weird, huh? 
let's just add a little bit of both and we'll just do a little bit of this green. How about we just do just a slight bit? Mini cups. Mini cups. And then this burgundy is beautiful. It says magenta deep, but really this is more of a burgundy in my mind. This is looking like, is the cup even going to fit on the square pad? <laughs> no, I'm going to pour it over it because okay, there's it. no, yeah, yeah, there's no way. Those are too tiny. And it'll be just fine like that. It'll be just fine. Okay, and then there's our... You heard it from the artist, so it'll be just fine. <laughs> so if it's not, not the assistant's fault. Okay. <laughs> there's those. Everything's your fault. You already know that. Yep. Okay, there's these guys, and we're going to auction off another item of Wendy's before we pour these little cuties. She's got her fingerprints all over them already. Well, they're about to be covered with paint. <laughs> <I know. laughs> oh my god, do we really need the commentary? We yes. should vote on the commentary. No okay. votes. This isn't a democracy. It kind of is. We vote on a lot of stuff in here. Well, that is not my department as the assistant. Okay, so let's auction off a wreath here. Woohoo! Yeah, this little cute. Candy cane wreaths? Yeah, we gotta or auction reindeer off. Reef. Reindeers. Well, they're reindeer, reindeer candy canes. Well, they're both. Either way, they're awesome. They're both. Okay, so. I know. We need to switch to Jingle Cells. Look at him. He's got a little nose. He's it's got a little up. eye. Okay, let's see. Handcrafted reindeer wreath. Handcrafted artificial reindeer wreath. Measures 33 inches length from tip of antler to bottom and 12 inches width at widest part. It is quality made to be enjoyed for many years to come. It is handcrafted with love by Wendy... In her craft studio, Cinder's Crafty Creations. And that's what this guy looks like. Love the studio name. Yeah, me too. Cinder cool. Crafting Creation. And we like these wreaths because they are different from regular wreaths. These are fun wreaths. They're a candy cane shape. <coughs> so they're definitely a little bit different. And wrapping the garland's never an easy task. So, you know, when it looks that good, she took her time. Yeah, for sure. And so there's that little guy there. He's really cutie. Aw, oh, that's sweet, Wendy. That's cool the way you got the name. That's awesome. Aw. And I guess that's why you have your puppy now. Aw, that's so sweet. That's such a sweet tribute. And these guys are adorable. Get your little red nose, and then you've got the antlers. And we can do a little close-up on this guy. Look at that. And then you've got some pretty poinsettias, which I feel like... Aw, Cinder's little sister. That's adorable. And that's such a cute name for a dog. Especially a lab. A black lab. That's adorable. Just like this little guy is adorable. And you've got your poinsettias on this guy. And then the antlers are really cool. You got a close up of the antlers, and this is quality made. And you got your little antlers at the top. You've got some ribbons, so you can hang this guy up. You can put it on your door. Um, or if you don't want to use it as a traditional wreath on your door, you can always put this guy um, anywhere in your house, really. This is just a nice little hanging decoration. So, really, there's a lot of options for this guy. And he's got a cutie little bow tie right there, peeking out at you. These wreaths are really cute. And if you guys want to see anything, just let me know, because we can definitely pull up anything that you guys want. And we can zoom in and take a look at them up close and personal. So we do take requests, and Wendy does bundle. So keep that in mind, please.
And right now I'm just kind of pouring these on the um, guys here. Aw, Morgan. I like the way that you spell that too with an E. That's a good way to spell it. And these definitely have a really nice holiday vibe to them. We are liking these colors a lot. And then we're going to swish these guys around. See what we come up with. I don't know why the minis are so fun. They just are. Look at these little cuties. Yeah, it really is a great way to honor the name. That's a cool name, though. Cinders. That's pretty. And very fitting. Look at that gold. That gold is gorgeous. I'm loving this gold. Look at these little cuties. All right. These are the ones that I'm going to make a magnet of and just kind of keep uh, these. That way we have one of each of these guys. Thank you. I was just going to ask if anybody else was having audio issues. Sounds like it's uh, just on your end as well. Oh, dang it. That's no fun. Need smaller hands. <laughs> All right, Isabel. I hope your audio gets fixed. That's no fun. Gotta have our audio working. Okay, so there's that guy. <clears throat> wow, this is lots of gold in these guys. These are cool. <coughs> Look at that. That gold is beautiful. It's beautiful. Nice little hint of green. Yeah, look how pretty Red. the gold is. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the camera just trying to find faces, and so it doesn't always focus right. I see a lot from my electronics videos mm. you have to hold your hand behind it too so it doesn't focus yeah. on the background all right i'm gonna put these guys to the side because we are not auctioning these guys off these are for our collection if you will and so i'll make a magnet um out of one of these guys for you this will be part of the magnet set and then also for my personal crafting purposes and then these are the two sets of four that we're going to auction off next and we got some adorable little guys here <laughs> so we got to swish them around and thank you taja this is taja's idea until they fall off they're not gonna fall off uh, uh. it's just the paint that's moving uh. Yep. Look. I'm into Ooh. tech videos there, Mike, of course. Ooh. Look at this. That's why your uh, four cups are 3D printed and all that fun stuff. Yep. We she, are... She's into tech, too. Yeah, I'm into tech, too. Nice. Go Ryzen. AMD for the win. Ooh. These are beautifuls. This was a great color combination. And I'm just trying to make sure that these don't slide off the thing. So we're doing a slow switch, a slow angle here. These are cute. These canvases are definitely a winner.
I apologize, guys. We're moving very slowly here. <laughs> but um, We're watching paint dry. Yeah. Well, this is a delicate situation here at best. Yep. So. No, it's definitely unique. I like them. Yeah, I love these. They're really, really pretty. It is kind of like therapy. It's just these colors are amazing. Just watching colors run around is fun. All right. That's fun to watch the paint. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, that is pretty therapeutic, actually. See, we're doing piece by piece here. I can't because I'll get it. I'll drip it onto one of the other guys. But yeah, yeah. they're really cute. And I'm just making sure that we get the sides on this guy. And look how cool that gold foil is with the uh, metallic there. Ooh, there we go. Now we're into focus. Look at that. That's super pretty. Get the Shrek hands in there to take up the camera. Oh, frame. God, don't look at my hands. Yep. Sees birds like a top tropical bird. These guys are so cute. Why are these so cute? Definitely need to get another box of these. I didn't know these were going to be so much fun. I yeah, mean, I kind of did, but... I thought they'd just be one color that size, but yeah, that's... These are fun, okay? We definitely like these. We're going to do these again. Yeah, they're, and they're each kind of different, too, but the same. Toucan, yep. <laughs> United by a common theme. What was the toucan fruit loops? Really, they could be a lot of different things. These are definitely some cool colors, though. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Just look at these. Love. Yeah, I love these. These are, oh my gosh, so much fun. That's amazing. They're only $5 a piece. <laughs> no, these are a set. These are a set of four. So $50 for the set of four. No. <laughs> Ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, so cute. So adorable. And I'm just making sure that we get the sides on these guys. We really want to make sure we get the sides and look at them. <laughs> that almost looks like a piece of Christmas candy. This one does. Yeah, fan of cats, too. Yep. He wants attention. Come on, let's go to bed. No video for you. He wants attentions. Yeah. Yeah, these are really, really cool. But to me, this looks like a piece of, you know, that old-fashioned Christmas candy? That's what it looks like to me. Oh, yeah, the teeth breakers. Yeah, you know, like my great-aunt, my great-great-aunt used to have a bowl of that stuff out, and it just yeah. kind of sat there. She had those butterscotch candies all the time. It's like, you want some candy? I'm like, no. I know how long that candy's been sitting there. <laughs> Old fashioned butterscotch. And then look at that. This looks like a uh, really, really cool. So each one of these little paintings is really neat. And then you can see like how it sits on top. This color sits on top. We like it. Like it a lot. Yeah, we like it. 
Why is anything miniature awesome? I don't know. Like I said, with the miniature cooking. When it's miniature, it's just awesome. All right. So that's going to be one set. And this is going to be another set. And we've got those all covered up. These would make really cute little ornaments or magnets or really anything that you want to do with these guys would be cool. All right, so I'm going to get some of the layers of paint off my faders so we can auction these two guys off. Actually, will you auction this off for me while I do a quick ad? Just work your way from left to right. The first set is going to be, what number are we on, nine? Nine. Yeah, those are going to be, so the one on the left is going to be so this is going to be set number nine, and this is going to be set number 10, if that makes any sense. And so that way you can zoom in on those guys. And let me write down, let's see, number nine is going to be set one, and number 10 is going to be set two. And then you may want to actually hold that over it while you auction it. Okay, I'm going to do a quick add on the last one then. Don't micromanage the assistant. All right, and this is an auction setting, and I will get started at $5 for the first set. The phone's not stuck to the stand because you spilled paint all over it. So this is the first set, and we'll go ahead and get that one started now. So they're two by two canvases. Um... Yeah, they got lots of pretty colors. Not very good at this, but this is them. This is what you're buying, all four of them. We're not going to... Oh, did I start at seven? No, okay, it's only been seven. See, I didn't break it. Thank you, Angela, for that. And uh, they are very beautiful. My wife made them. <laughs> Do, do, do. Congratulations, Angela. You get a set of four of these cool two by two paintings. And if you have anything else, then we will bundle them together with that. I don't know why I get an accent when I'm auctioning stuff. Doesn't make sense. And the tripod stuck to the paint as well. Angela finally won. Yay. And then we will go for set number two, which is painting number 10. Oi. See if I can do this one right as well. Very refined auctioneer. Thank you, my posh sister. <laughs> I feel artsy when I'm getting to auction off her art. I don't know how... She spilled paint all over her phone. That's just embarrassing. I'm glad you guys can't see it. Such a nice phone. So this is painting set number 10. The ones here on the right. And that is blue. Camera doesn't really pick it up, but it's kind of more of a blue silver on that one with the big spot. And the other one's got some cool cells. Cellular action, I guess you guys call it. So I'll go ahead and start the next set. There we go. Taj is out in the start there. Got some nice watermelon colors, of course. Nice. Got some bids from Sandy Mermaid, Isabel. There we go. And she, I knew she liked that one with the big spot. Yeah, there's some. these are some cool little paintings. And I sorry, I, I haven't done the naming or anything, so. We don't, we're not really naming these. They're ornaments, but we may need oh, to yeah. accessorize them. That's true. They may want glass or glitter. Well, or... I already sold one of them, so. That's fine. You can add it. And Isabel got her set of four there. Congratulations, so. Isabel. Awesome. I'll let her take back over the phone duties. Yeah, now you guys get to decide if you want to accessorize these little guys or not. I already forgot who won the first one. Angela. Angela got yeah. the first set, and then Isabel got the second one. All right, so Angela, we'll start with you, and then we'll do Isabel's. So you guys oh. can decide, would you like some 
accessories. You guys see why she pays me the big bucks now, right? Because I can do everything she can do. But better. Yeah, except you didn't accessorize the paintings. <laughs> um, so these are Angela's paintings, and we need to figure out if we want to accessorize She'd like them. like some fun glitter. Fun glitter? What? Uh-oh. All right. You're speaking my language. Hey, Chip um, Tam. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, you're just in time to see our first set of little tiny miniature canvases. They're so cute, though. Oh, my gosh. How much fun are these? We've got unicorns. You already know. I don't think she was talking that kind of cute glitter. Oh. She might have been. <laughs> um, we have our platinum chunks. I'll try, I'll try to remember that, Isabel. We've got... Uh, you know we've got the lightning bolts. You guys know we have that. Yeah, the lightning bolts. We've got our silver stars. We've got our cosmic glitter. Um, what, what other else? fun glitters do you have? Well, let's see. We've got our gold stars <laughs> and silver moons. Those are fun. Um, and we also, for anybody just joining, you know, we had our silver foil flakes. Now we also have gold foil flakes and copper foil flakes. So that's an option as well. And then we also have these like foil flakes slash confetti situation, multicolored. That's pretty fun. That looks like a party in a bag to me. Um, let's see what else we got her. Um... Yeah, copper. You know we love a good copper. Okay, Isabel wants some silver stars. Very nice. I'm glad you guys are kind of getting to it. see what we're doing here. Let me see. I think she wanted red, green, and silver glitter as well. Okay, well you can make some notes over there. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, Let's see. The gold and silver moon and stars... Or a little foil. Totally up to you. I don't know. Like, there is some copper in these. So, you could definitely do the foil, I feel like. Um, but I also do feel like that... I don't know. You could definitely do that. Or you could do, like... We have gold glass, too. But I don't know. Um, we have some really good choices here. <laughs> The chat's really trying do. to peer pressure you into it. <laughs> well, everyone always gets excited when we get like new things, and so it's cool that we have these other colors of foil flakes now. <laughs> it makes everybody excited. It's like, okay, we got some new stuff. I know how that is. Like, whenever I get new stuff, I'm like, okay, how can I, how can I use this new stuff? You know what we could do. These are really more copper. We could put the copper kind of on the copper on these two. Maybe we could do gold on this one. And then, I don't know, maybe gold on the side of this one where it's gold on the side. Or we could mix them together. Okay, so you want to do That's the light capital, colors? Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I like it. That way we're doing we're using both colors here. And this copper, look at this copper. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that copper. It's like eight dollars a copper right there. <laughs> I don't think it's real copper. No, like the price of copper. I know. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh my god. Why are you here? You're not even I can't even read those notes you're taking over there. Yeah, well. That's so not helpful. I took them. <laughs> Told me to take some notes. I did accidentally get a tiny piece of copper right there. I'll show you, but I think it looks all right. Okay, this was a great idea. I just have to say that. Uh, thank you, Comfort. I am a great assistant. No, you're not. I'm the assistant that you tell to take notes, and I just like draw little stick figures fighting. <laughs> <laughs> not a big help. Oh, wow. This copper looks awesome. <laughs> Look at this copper. Most of it's still stuck to her fingers. Oh, wow. That does look cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. 
Got some cool dimension in there. Got some real metallics. That's pretty. All right, now we do our gold here. <laughs> Does not get a raise this year. No. Yeah. So I guess I'm getting paid nothing again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What is uh, nothing times nothing or nothing divided <laughs> by nothing? Oh, yeah. It's nothing. You can't divide by zero. Everybody knows that. You can when the answer is <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, jeez, that gold flake's just... Yeah. All <laughs> over the place. I know, it's <laughs> awesome. It's so pretty. Show them that. It's just like, bleh, it's... growing out of the lid. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's alive. This is a nice touch, I must say. I must say. This is great. Love, love, love it. I do too. I have to say, this was really, really a good idea. Those are pretty much the only kind of ideas we have, though, in here. I have. The only kind of ideas we have <laughs> are good ones. Do you think the sun and the moons would be too much? No. I don't Is think there she such a thing? In too much. No, I don't. <laughs> And where do you want the sun and the moons? Do you want them kind of in the same place as the flakes, perhaps? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. As it's flowing into the paint or sinking into the paint. Yeah, it looks cool. It's like really meshing in there great. Okay. I don't think it's too much, but it's up to you. And we can put it in the same spot or in a different spot. I think it kind of look cool in the same spot mixed with the foil. Because the foil looks... Freaking awesome. And put one on your finger and put it next to the painting or something to show size. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Put some in the lid here. And they're Since tiny. We're, we're working with miniature paintings and now miniature glitters. <laughs> and so it's tiny, so I think it would work really well in there. Just a little, wherever they fall. Okay. Actually, let me... We're going to do subtle glitter. Stars and moons. These are the stars and moons. That's not glitter. It is glitter. It's no. star and moon glitter. No. It's one or the other. Okay, that's pretty. That is looking amazing, I have to say. Let's do a close-up. God, look at that foil. Look at those foil flakes. Yep. Mm. No, that's awesome with the little tiny stars in it. <laughs> I like it. And the moons, too. Yep. There you can see the moons. Those are just so pretty and festive. Okay, we're in favor of that. Perfect. Congratulations, Angela. These are amazing. Yep. Will you write Angela's name down on a post-it real quick? I want to make sure I don't get these guys mixed up since we have light colors. I'll see if you can read it. Oh, God. How many H's are in Angela? Oh, my God. Stop. These mini paintings are adorable. Oh my God, they're so cute. Yeah, hopefully they'll fix the, the app up here a little bit so it stops crashing so often. Oh my God. Oh, look at these little guys. They're so cute. Okay. Calm down. Gold, silver, red, green glitter. Okay. They're so cutie. All right, let me get the post-it real quick. Thank you very much. Because we're organized. At least that's what we tell everyone. All right, so that way we put post-it there so we can tell the difference. And then what color glitter do we want on this guy? Gold, silver, red, green. And she likes the foils too, but trust you. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Let's do a close-up on this guy before we start on it. Bex, we've gone miniature. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Look at these guys. Aren't they cute? They're just so adorable. I just want to like hug them. <laughs> and look at the cool foil effect on these guys. You can see the metallic like foily color. They're just adorable. I just want to like cuddle them. I'm going to put some in my bed tonight and cuddle them instead of you. Yay. Um, <laughs> they're cuter than you are. I'm already going to wake up with glitter in my pants for sitting near you. <laughs> okay. So what color glitter do we want on these guys? Gold, red, green, silver. <laughs> All right. Well, I got some different colors of them, so we have to vote on. And she also wants some foil. What color foil? We got silver, copper, and gold. Yeah, we got some awesome. The foil looks awesome. So does the glitter. I think we just do it all up. Silver or gold? All right, I'm getting the red and the green glitter because she's got some choices to make on that. Decisions need to be made on the <laughs> color of glitter that you want because we've got a lot of, well, not a lot, but we've got definitely um, various greens okay so we have our silver and gold and do you want to mix them all up together and make like a nice little christmas glitter and then we've got our red and you've got these choices in the red so you've got one or two i'm at the eye doctor one or one. two or two. One or two. She wants you to choose. You make up the Christmas glitter mix and just sprinkle it all over everything. Oh gosh, I'm dis I'm indecisive too. This is <laughs> going to be a problem. Um, <laughs> let's Put a do little red, a little green, a little gold. I know, but which together. red? Which red. red? Which red? The non-brown red. Okay, everyone likes one. You switched them that time. I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Be quiet. Be quiet. Stop talking. You're not helping this situation. You are adding to the confusion of the glitter. The one on Taj is left. <sighs> All right. And which green do we want? What do you guys think about we the want greens? them in focus. I'm doing my best. <laughs> so we've got glitter one, glitter two, and glitter three. They want number one. They want number three <laughs> because they have good taste, uh, unlike you. Okay. God. Beck said two. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Beck. She got outnumbered and outvoted. <laughs> I'm gonna so mix. I'm gonna mix all the glitters together, and we're gonna make a Christmas glitter. Oh, thanks, Angela. Yep, me too. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad everybody can enjoy it. That's part of the reason I price it like that, too, is I want everybody to be able to enjoy it. And plus, it's fun to make. Like, I would be sitting at home by myself doing this anyway. Yep. It's more fun with other people. It's more fun with you guys. And, and not only that, I steal all my good ideas from y'all, too. Yeah. Helps pay for the supplies. Thanks, guys. Definitely. <laughs> And, and it's um, fun hanging out with you guys, too. Yeah, for sure. And then, like I said, I totally steal their ideas. Yep. Look at that. Look at that Christmas glitter smorgasbord. Which you guys have no right to your ideas, which we now own. <laughs> Just stop. Trademarked. Ooh, look at it mixed together. Oh, my gosh. This Okay, this is making me feel in the holiday mood now. Look at that. That is Christmas glitter. So we made up our own glitter. Oh my gosh, we just made up our own glitter. Yay. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. See, it makes sense. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm glad it makes sense to somebody. Oh my gosh, a glitter. Oh my gosh, Taj using the oh, yeah. fancy yeah. words. He wants to do foil too. That's glitter chart chartreuse. You just want foil on one? Chartreuse. I know what you're saying. I just can't say it. No, she wants the foil too on all of it, but yeah. we're putting the glitter I just, first. I just read the... The most recent, can you do foil on one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I already have glitter nightmares. <laughs> uh, There's no such thing as a glitter nightmare. There's a glitter dream. Uh, There's no glitter nightmare. 
Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Like, I know what she's saying. It's a pasta plaza. It's those cool, like, uh, things. Oh, those things. Like the cutting board, and you arrange the food into a shape and stuff. You would like one. You like snacks. Yeah, I do like snacks. Maybe I'll make us one, and I can show you what they are. If that I might be fun. I like it. That would be fun. We can make a little snowman out of cream cheese and like put some crackers on it for arms or uh, I don't know, like <laughs> put some grapes for eyeballs, put some carrots for like that's gonna be a the ground ball of cheese. I don't know. I'm just like <laughs> they have YouTube videos on how to do that. Heck so yeah. I would have to watch one. Don't forget about the foil. I'm not. You just keep talking. That was you talking. I was just saying yes. She wants gold or silver. Gold or silver. Yep. Why not both? No, I'm just kidding. We could do silver on one. We could do gold on another one. Right? And now you're making everybody hungry. I don't even have any ice cream. Comfort likes the, what is it, the coffee? Oh, you can still do some more painting. There's, silver It's always a good time gold. to paint. Do you want to mix together? Or do you want, let's take a look at the glitter first. See where we are on this. Oh, yeah. Now you can see the glitter. Look at that holiday glitter we made. So you have to zoom in on the two-inch canvas. <laughs> right? They're so cute. I can't wait to make stuff with these. You guys can blame Teresa for this one, all right? I definitely <laughs> do. She's not in here right now, but when she comes in here again, we're going to blame her. Because she made me this one. Which, I don't know. I really love this. I keep showing you guys this. But I'm like, okay, so we need to do the tiny canvases. Gotcha. Um. Oh, that's a good idea, Bex. Mm, yeah, Bex. Sounds delicious. Oh, Wendy's doing crafts, too. That's awesome. The guild! Alright, so we want silver and gold mixed together, right? Or do you want them separately? Oh, okay. So they, they okay. Okay. She wants silver and gold. See, because this is the silver, and so I'm wondering if you want like some silver on top of silver, because this guy's gonna dry really metallic-y. and so you may want silver in that one. Then we could also put silver on this one right here on the side, and then this guy we could do the gold or the copper. Yep. Up to you. Sounds good to her. Okay. So. Yeah, glass. I, I mean, mean you can do the silver on silver and... these choices are just too okay. Do you want gold or copper on this one? I'm gonna put silver <laughs> on these two, but this one, I don't know. Okay, no copper. So you want gold on this guy then? Yep. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Yeah, these flakes are so cool. They're so shiny. <laughs> we like shiny things. We're like raccoons. That's fine, Jackies. You can shout out whatever you want in the chat. Shout it out. We pay attention, so we won't accidentally do it wrong. And then I, I mean, she will, but I won't. And I also do scroll the chat to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't know how she does with all the paint all over her phone. There is paint. When I dropped the phone earlier, it's like on the front. I was like, okay, as long as it's on the front, we're okay. But it just can't cover up the camera. Like, I can always peel it off after the show. But yeah, totally. And we knew this was going to happen, so I'm glad you guys were here to see that. Because I, I totally predicted this. I'm like Nostradamus. I was like, one day, I will be dropping the phone into, dropping the phone into the paint. Okay, so it's only a matter of when. Yep. Um, this is actually painting number 10, Bex. No, I think uh, she was asking Isabel if this was her first ever. Oh, okay. I was like, we're on number 10. We Well, this is like a mini painting, number 10. Or actually, this is like four paintings, right? Yep. And I'm going to put the gold flakes on this side. I think they would look really lovely. I can't tell you how pleased I am that we have uh, flakes. Now we just need to work on getting the glass in the other colors. But we got to have all the good art supplies. But yeah, we have the foil flakes in, these, uh, in all the colors now.
Now we just got to work on the glass. Yeah. And she's doing a set of magnets too. She's doing a mini painting for each one of her big paintings. And yeah, we're making mini me's of oh each of our God. paintings uh, tonight. We we look, we do whatever we want. It's kind of fly by the seat of our pants. Yeah, here. she's gone kind of crazy tonight. I just got overly excited when I got the mini frames. And since we're live, I can call her crazy. I can't do that when we're not online or else I'll die. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at the look at the foil flakes. Man. <laughs> and then the glitter, our Christmas glitter, an original by us that we made up. So they can need to be bent around the end. Very nice. See, that's why I'm the assistant. Yeah, good good job. You've contributed today. I have contributed. Okay. Um, and Even then, down the name. what do you think, Isabel? Because we can do glass, too. Oh, yeah. You could do them separately. And we were thinking to make some little ornaments out of them, too, Bex. Yep. Yep. Magnets. Ornaments. What else? Dog collars. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We thought about hanging it around our dog's neck. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Isabel should add some glass to these? Or do you think they look pretty as is? And if you do think she should add glass, <laughs> what color? So the you've got a lot of opinions in here. So you need to pick the one that you think works for you. The white only. Leave it alone. As is, as is. Because we'll give you all the opinions oh, here. Oh, God. See? Got two glass, four as is. See? That's, That's why Angela's got to pick this one because we got too many ideas here, and which is good because then that gives her some really good ideas. Like, see, we got to have the best ideas in here. There you go, one with glass. There you go. Yeah, you can make them all different. Okay, so which one? I know which one. Do you want to put glass on? And what color of glass do you want? Okay, so the red one, like this guy? That's what Amanda thinks. Don't worry. Nobody's terrible at this. It's... You can't be terrible <laughs> yeah, at this. There, there is no wrong answer. There is no failure. <laughs> this is art. It's all in the eye of the beholder, which means if you like it, that's all that matters. Oh, oh so am I, Isabel. That's why I let the chat help me decide. I'm just like, all right. Because honestly, everybody has yeah. really, really good ideas to contribute, and I really appreciate it. God, yeah, that's... Okay, so... Nobody's the... on the same page here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I'm kind of on the same page with Chick Tam. So... But I could see the red one, too. See? Like, we could add something to the red in this one. That might not so... be a terrible idea. Pink glass on the red one? Elk. <laughs> yeah, it's easy when it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Right? It's always easy to suggest something, but it's yeah. easier to... I kind of agree with Foxy, too. I think there's some truth to that. Okay, so you guys want to add... And this is the silver. You know what? That might be really good, to put some clear glass on this silver one. No green glass. No green glass. green glass. I need See, I need to get the other... I just got all the colors of foil, because we only had silver. Then we need to get the other colors of glass. <laughs> We're gradually adding to our art supply stock here so you guys think the white one i think so too yay bex got her jewelry boxes that's oh, awesome yeah. supplies are crazy right now bex i think most people understand but, but bex is a perfectionist she a, likes to do the fancy packaging yep yeah, i know thanks for the update yeah no i'm just saying everything like supply wise is crazy oh yeah yeah this time of year, for sure. Yeah. Like, oh, everybody's sold out of stuff. Everything's like, yeah. Holiday time is definitely a little weird. But I don't know. Like, really, we could go either way with it, you know? Because you have a nice surface on the red one, but then the silver, I don't know. You may want it to pop with some glass. I'm starting to think the silver might look good with some glass in it now. I don't know. You could do both, too. Yep, I was going to say, the chat's kind right? of divided 50-50. I think half of them want to do the red one, half of them want to do the silver one. I mean, we could do both, or we could do... 
either one, really. Name your colors of glasses again. Oh, yeah. Let me go through the glasses we have here. Let's take a little look. So we have our silver slash clear, however you want to look at it. Your broken mirror. Right. <laughs> it could be a broken. It's definitely that kind of that kind of vibe. And then we've got our light blue. Um, we have our light pink. And then we have our gold. And these are smaller um, gold pieces. And this is like an antique gold color. So not a bright yellow gold. This is like an antique gold. So it's a nice subtle, subtle touch. And we can definitely mix some of the glass colors together too. To make one color. Yep, stay with gold, silver, red, and green. So okay. Okay. You got gold and silver glass. Okay, so I'm thinking we need to do some silver on top of the silver. Do it. Just okay. get her done. Well, I really feel like that'd look cool. Because this, this is a nice... something, too. Yeah, I feel like it does, too. It needs a little extra there. I think it'd look real pretty. And plus, it'll reflect the light. Yep, I can already see our ceiling fan reflecting it. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> the glass is pretty. <laughs> yeah. The glass is pretty. And then I think that we should do the silver in this strip too, like on the side, just cause it matches. And we'll just put, and plus it'll mix in with the foil to give it like this really pretty glittery effect. Three dimensional. Yeah, exactly. I like it. These are so cute. Isabel can decide if she wants a little pink on the red, but I think the silver is good. Yeah, I do too. Cause it really goes with the theme. I wish I had like red and so I'm going to start working on the glass. Yeah. We got the foil now. So now we need to get all the glass colors. She's so going to get be... the red and green glass right after Christmas. So that's going to be my next thing that we do. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, good Lord. The commentary. My God. I know. I'm good at it. No. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Ding, 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 ding. Gosh. You only see the black because her phone case is black. <laughs> That's cool. And you can see our ceiling fan flashing at them sometimes. <laughs> That's cool. All right. The glass really does a lot for these guys. I have the same kind of feeling there, Bex. My OCD takes over. And then the foil. <laughs> and, and Which is really hard, especially with abstract paintings. To have God, I love foil. <laughs> Exactly, Taja. Each one is unique. <laughs> These all have character. But they all are in the same family, but they're all different. So these are not twins. They're sisters. Uh, you might have a couple of cousins in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> not... <laughs> can you do a tiny bit of gold foil in the big I sure patch can. of red? I sure can. I love this foil. You know what's really cool is our Christmas glitter. We made that up ourselves. I'm just saying. Okay, let's do some gold on this guy. Because mm, these flakes. These flakes, though. Yeah, the Christmas glitter turned out pretty okay. Yeah, it did. I want to make uh, I want to make our like own Christmas glitter. Your own vial of Yeah, Christmas like a whole glitter. thing of it to do it again. We should just make up glitters. I bet we could just make up glitters like we make up colors. We should just have a <laughs> glitter show, right? And make up words. Yeah, don't you guys think we should just have a glitter show? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. It, it's got a little it's like a burgundy. Thing. It's a burgundy. It's kind of like a burgundy. Plus the silver's kind of pushing in there a little bit. But look at that gold. Look at those flakes. That was a nice touch. Yep, non-identical. And then the and then the glass. Oh, wow. Yep, and the foil will melt and settle down. These are some really good decisions. Look at that. Extreme close up. Yep, I think she's, she'll definitely spray these. Um. Yes, I spray them after they're done. I'll show you guys what I use. Man, that looks cool. We did that. Let me get a. Where's my spray? Probably outside. Okay. So I may not be able to show you guys my spray. <laughs>
Sorry, I need, to, I need to find it. It's somewhere around the house where I've been taking it in and outside with me. But I use a resin spray and it's a super high gloss because these will definitely lose a little bit of shininess as they dry. And so we spray our nice super glossy spray over it to restore the glossiness and then also to keep these protected and extend the life of these guys. They should hire you for commercial. I know. They should hire me for uh, selling Michaels. I've sent so many people to Michaels. You guys know. These are gorgeous. You made some excellent choices on these, Isabel, for sure. I love it. I hope you love these. These are so cute. Look at the... Oh, my gosh. Look at these little baby canvases. They're just adorable. I just, like I said, I just want to, like, cuddle these or do something fun with them. Honestly, anything miniature, though, is cute, right? Like mini unicorns, mini ponies. Anything mini is adorable. And we'll take another look, because this one you can really see our Christmas glitter. And we came up with that ourselves. Aren't those so cute? And this looks like a piece of Christmas candy to me. This just looks like a piece of that old fashioned, like hard Christmas candy. I know. Ugh, Michaels. And then let me put your name on a post it. Cause I want to make sure that keep these guys together. Oh, you already wrote it on a post-it. I can barely read your writing, but that looks good. We got that taken care of. All right. Awesome. Okay, those are fun. We love these. Okay, these are fun. So the mini canvas is definitely going to continue to be a thing around here. I'm just saying. Yes, I did my job that I'm not getting paid for. Um, so they're, they can be ornaments, they can be magnets, they can be anything really. I just ordered these on Amazon for fun. And they're two by two, they're just little mini canvases. Look at these guys, they're adorable. So, I don't know. We just felt like doing a set of them for fun. And I got the idea from Teresa, so everyone blame Teresa for the mini canvas. Cause she made me one of these guys. It's a little magnet. Really, really cute. Okay. So now we are going to do our last painting of the night. There's Teresa. And then look at the drip. Look at the drip pan. Teresa, this is your fault. <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> yeah. Look how many we've done already. I've been dying to try. <laughs> the box is like... <laughs> It's a 24 pack. I've been dying left. to try it ever since you sent me this. I've been showing everybody this magnet all day. I love it. I just love it. So we've uh, had a lot of fun. That's why we did the four packs. I think Posh is a flat shipping for yeah. seven bucks or whatever. Yeah. But if you want something else from her closet, then we'll bundle it. Yeah. If you see something else or if you want to order a custom painting or something like that, to make the shipping uh, more worth it, just let me know. Yep. Because we can definitely, definitely accommodate you. We can pretty much make anything. We've got all the colors. Yeah, that was my original idea was just dip the minis into the drip pan painting. But... Nope, we got to pour it. They're each, they're each other's own painting. But we can try dipping it, too. We try everything. And look at our uh, drip tray pan. This is going to be freaking cool. It's going to get it. A whole lot more pink here. And it's got a lot of paint on it. So I don't know what's going to happen with this one. This is going to be fun. And we'll auction this off last. Okay. So let's just put you back in here. <laughs> it's kind of like, ugh, just putting it right back into the paint there. And our last one is going to be our breast cancer theme painting. Dun, dun, dun. And that's going to be painting number... 11. Yep. Sorry. Set two is down there. Yeah, I know. Making sure our paperwork. They were so complete. small, I wanted to put them in one little thing. 
there we go. And now we got our painting number 11. All right, so this is breast cancer theme. So I'm just gonna get all the pinks out and you guys can tell me which ones you wanna put in the painting. And making stuff is never a bad thing, Teresa. Exactly. And yeah, well, yeah. With That's our favorite thing to do. Us pouring them, we couldn't do anything but a bunch of them, so. That's awesome. That's cool you were doing that. We heavily promote craft activities on this show. All right, let's see what we've got color wise. Oh, yeah, I've got this crack. color too. This is a p crafts, not crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good slogan. Yep. Crafts, not crack. <laughs> yep, definitely need some pink, hot pink. Okay. Neon pink, yep. Okay, so let's vote on them. Barbie pink. Oh, burgundy? Definitely. Teresa makes some really, really cool stuff. You guys definitely need to check out her closet. She makes awesome stuff. Go Crafters Guild. Crafters. Crafters are awesome. Silver. Um, silver? Silver. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. All right, let's vote on colors. Everybody check out Teresa's closet. She just added some new items. We love it when we get some fresh new items. What do you guys think about this color? This is like a light baby pink, right? Like baby pink. It says pink, but this is baby pink. Rosa. Okay, yes. Yes, we need to do a collab show. I think that would be really fun. We can t we can call it a craft extravagant or craft extravaganza or craft dava craft <laughs> craft craftavaganza. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure somebody can think of something clever. They think of clever painting names all the time. Yep. I'm sure they could think of a clever painting name for the show. In fact, I know they could. Yes, yep. that's what I was trying to say, Wendy. Craft dava craft extravaganza. Craft-a-palooza. Ooh, craft-a-palooza. Yeah. That's cute, too. I love it. Yeah, I definitely need that one. This is a purple neon, but to me, this looks pink. What do you guys think about this color? See, okay. nothing but yeses. Okay. All two of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is fuchsia. This is like Barbie core pink. Like, this looks like a Barbie dream house. Yeah, yep, yep. In a bottle. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we need a craft drava craft dravagans. It's just <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop trying to say that word uh before yeah, let's just not. Happy Saturday, everybody. <laughs> let's not. This is a bright violet. Okay, this looks purple. Probably not, right? No, that's our first no. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm not feeling this either. Oh my god, you rock, Elk. Yappy Saturday. Yappy Saturday, exactly. <laughs> as long as I don't try to say craft extravaganza again. Okay, I just tried to do it. This is a light pink. This almost looks like a peach. No. no. Oh my yeah. God, Elky Cats. Rock. Cats. You guys check out Teresa's closet. That's awesome. Neon pink? Gotta have the neon. We should do an ornament show. If anybody wants to do an ornament show, let me know. We'll do all Christmas ornaments all night. That'd be fun. Everyone's made, I've seen some really cool Bubble ornaments. All together, hell yeah. I just feel like people should look at the ornaments. Okay, if anybody wants to do an ornament show, hit me up. We'll do an ornament show whenever you guys want. You already know I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll be right here. I'll be at work. And we could do, and we should definitely do a, like a non craft show, or not non craft, non ornament. I don't even know what the S's are for anymore. So, yes. <laughs> this is for the rose gold metallic. Uh, and yes to the craft show. 
And the burgundy, I think that was already called out as needing to go in. Burgundy, there. deep magenta. Oh, we gotta know. Ooh. Got two yeses. We gotta get some votes. Is it burgundy not? It says deep magenta, but honestly, this looks like a burgundy to me. It's like a wine color. Take the cap off. Oh, yeah. That'll help. Let them see what the real color we is. We gotta see what the real deal is. Kind of have 50 50 on that one. Oh, Posh changed her. Oh, it was we changed Wilson, her vote. Maybe. Yep. We'll stick with it. Maybe a little bit. It'll do a good accent, I think. Okay. In silver. Do a little bit of it. <laughs> I think two people called out needed in silver, so. Silver. Do you guys want white? Like a pearl white or a matte white? Or no, we're good with these. We do, we do love silver. Okay, I see some pearl white in there. We're going to do it all. Do we want cells on this guy or no cells? And if we want cells, where do we want them? Cells, 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 cells. Jingle cells, jingle cells. We love all the cells. Half cells, we can do that. We can do whatever we want to do. What happened to your jazz? It just is quiet. There we go. Now we can fall asleep in peace over here. <laughs> oh, please. Four hours in. What's the color spilled on the bright pink bottle? Uh, this is a lot of different colors. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, a bunch of colors from a painting. Golden green. Yeah, black. when I was turning it around, <laughs> I dripped it all over the bottle. <laughs> so, and this is, I don't even know what color that is. The custom patented color that we don't make anymore. Just like our custom glitter. <laughs> All right, let's do half cells. Very special. Very exactly. rare. Very expensive. Exactly. We made it ourselves. <laughs> so, let's do four colors of cells. And you know what? I'm just going to grab random colors, oh, and those God. are going to be the colors that have cells in them. This is going to be bad. Oh, stop it. So bad. Stop it. Nobody's going to want it. <laughs> Your mom wants it. Oh, bird. Your mom wants it. <laughs> your mom likes it. We're too old to be saying that kind of stuff, sweetie. We love your mom jokes. We're always like, every <laughs> single thing that we say to each other, oh yeah, your mom likes that. Your mom thinks that's real funny. It's so annoying, but that's just kind of... Really? Your mom likes that color. All right. Oh, really? That's ugly? It's ugly like your mom. I don't know. It never gets old for some reason. Like That's all you'll hear around... That's all you hear around the house all day. Oh, Angela, that's a good one. I've heard that one for... Yeah. Your mama made her memory foam forget. Bad for you. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good one. When your mom uh, wore a yellow raincoat, everyone thought they missed the school bus. That one's stupid. Hell, dude. <laughs> no, I'm trying to remember what it, like the jokes from the '80s, like your mama. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bex, custom colors. Yep. Oh, yeah, Bex's Mosaics. You guys definitely have got to check out Bex's Mosaics. She makes some gorgeous things. Especially, I like the Mosaics. And what else <laughs> has everybody really liked of Bex? Oh, God. Let me mix That's these. bad, Fox sisters. <clears throat> a trampoline was a what? 
Jubilee into jumping until your mom jumped on it. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's heard, of course, like your mama wears army boots. I don't know. Like, I don't think that one's that funny. Your mom's a tramp. <laughs> Jesus. Just forget the whole joke part. We'll just call your mom a tramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. Okay, you are. You guys already know this one. I bet everybody in the room's heard this one. Um, your mom is so big, she sat on a rainbow and Skittles popped out. Or your mom's so dumb, she went through a bowl of M and M's and threw away all the W's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my crop, please? Your mom's so stupid. <laughs> this is what this is what it's devolved into. Um. Oh, come on now with the sound effects. Please don't bring that in here. Um, I'm just kidding. All right, I'm going to mix all these guys together. Why Where's... not? Your mom would mix all those together. Yeah. Your mom likes mixing it together. <laughs> she has fun when she mixes it together. <laughs> Whatever. Just leave the jokes to me, please. <laughs> That's all funny. It's your mom enters the chat. Yeah. You need to leave. <laughs> you just be like. I'm gonna tell you. Try to say it to that one kid, and he's like, "My mom's dead." <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Ooh, this, okay. This is fun. Okay, we're liking this. We're liking this. I wasn't sure where this was going. <laughs> that looks wrong. What's wrong with it? I don't know. It looks more like a that type of month cup than a breast cancer. Oh my god, <laughs> stop. Ugh, this is what we get for inviting you. This looks like an evil eye. Like it's mad. Yeah. If like you turn eyeball. it that way. Definitely looks like an eyeball. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, please stop commentating on everything. I'm sorry, babe. That's what I see. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are the most, like, non... Like... So everybody just paying not to forget it. This is not 4chan. This is Poshmark. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll... <laughs> you gotta figure out where you're at, okay? Alright. Get your minds out of the gutter, Jesus. He's so embarrassing. Like I can't I can't take him anywhere. And I'm not even taking him anywhere. We're at our house. I can't even keep like take you not anywhere. Not only can I not take you anywhere, I can't take you anywhere. Hey, they all saw the spermy. Oh my god. Stop making everybody leave. I did what they're saying. Well, they can say it. <laughs> yeah. You can't say it. They can say whatever they want. You can't. <laughs> yep. Ooh, look at that rose gold. Yeah, the gold is great. It looks like the... Now nobody can unsee <laughs> that. You know what? Just don't say anything else. Like I said, I will be scheduling our shows later. I mean, earlier during the week so that he's not home from work yet and nobody has to listen to his commentary. Because we've been doing our shows at 4 p.m. Mountain Time, we're gonna we're gonna be rolling that time back to where he's not here for any of the show. It is dark here. That's true. After dark show. Eco posh after dark. <laughs> thumbs down. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that thumbs down is for you. I just want I you to know that. I didn't. I didn't say anything. And it's for your mom. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I don't. I don't have my own show. You do need God. your own show out in your out shop, in the dog house. Out in your shop. That's what I'll call it. AKA the garage. So that's all I can. Yeah, I'll call it out in the dog house. Why don't you do your own show with Vincent? Yeah. Oh, one show a week. That's way too hard. Audience of nobody. I'm gonna do one one show a year. <laughs> I can be his assistant. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be his assistant. <laughs> coming yep. to you live from the trunk 
Now that's a show I can support. <laughs> we can get behind that. Yep. We can get behind that one. We're thinking about it. We, uh, I mean, she wants me to. I'm thinking about it. I'll do a painting one of these times. I don't know why you won't do one. You're already like in the middle of everything. Oh, yeah. I'm super supportive. I support her in every way. He's super annoying. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I have to write things on sticky notes. and. You know what? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks <laughs> yeah. a lot. Okay? Thanks a lot. He has a closet. It's called Vincent's Voodoo. But it's actually really just my other closet. Yeah. See? I take her to Michael's. I go to Michael's without her, which is... He does. He picks up crafts oh from me during God. the week when he's in town. He goes to Michael's like a lot for me yeah, though. Yeah, I get to go ring the little bell and say I have an online order, and then it's like eight bags. And then they tell stuff. you to check the shelf, I, but it's yeah. not there. Yep. Because it's inside the I locked say, yeah, cabinet. Yeah, it's not gonna fit in the little cubby. I'm sorry, it's not gonna fit in that. She's got way too much stuff. Well, it's because canvases are big. Yes. Yes, and buttoning buttons. Yeah. Okay, so you do a couple things around here. <laughs> Honestly, my dog could probably do it. Oh. I don't I don't think like it's any kind of special skill. Like what do you do? You hold the paintings? <laughs> Pay the man. Yep. Exactly. Like, I mean, come on now. Give me a percentage here at least. Mm, maybe. We'll see. It's like all she buys is more craft stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> There is there such a yeah, thing as I did more, hold the phone that one time. Okay. Well so you have something <laughs> going for you. I'm probably gonna have to hold the phone for this drip fan painting too. You probably are. <laughs> It'll be fun. Alright, we gotta auction off one of Wendy's <laughs> items real quick. We've got these really cute little reindeer guys. I think there's one that we haven't done though. I'm sorry. Look at these little cuties. I'll be nicer during the Wendy's auction, but not yours. Okay. <laughs> oh, I like the little flowers on that one. I know. I do too. I like the point size. Look at that little cutie. See? Windy knows. Yeah. No such thing, my friend. No such thing. Obviously, Windy knows. Look at that reindeer. I know. He's so cute. Handcrafted artificial reindeer wreath. Measures 31 inches length from tip of antler to bottom by 12 inches width at the widest part. Quality made to be enjoyed for many years to come because this is definitely a quality product. I added that part in myself. Um, handcrafted with love by Wendy um, for her craft studio, Cinder's Crafty Creations. And now we know the story behind that. Yep. The scarf is really pretty. Yeah, DK got the DK scarf. DK got the scarf. A scarf is pretty cool. I liked it because it was black and white, you know? Because it was different from traditional, like, Christmas colors. And then, let's see. Yeah, you probably let a child like my wife paint it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, basically, if you just send me a bundle, I can auction your stuff off while I'm painting. Pretty easy to do, really. You have to be present. Oh, yeah, you do have to be present to accept it, but... Look at this little cutie guy. And then he's got a ribbon right there, like around his quote unquote neck. And it's great because it's not a traditional wreath. It's got a candy cane shape, which makes it cool. And then there's some antlers. Really nice colors. You can hang it anywhere. Yeah. You could hang it on your door because it's a wreath, or you could hang it on your house. But I just love these little cuties. He's adorable. I love these guys. And if you guys want to see anything, just let me know. We take requests, okay? Yep. We definitely take requests. Any listing in the show, let us know. Yeah, we're more than happy. Because I'm good at rhyming. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Okay, let's see what happens with this guy. I One, keep my mouth shut. two, three. That would be better for everyone. <laughs> Oh, we're going to do some little canvases, too. Yep, don't forget the magnets. <gasps> Ooh, look at the cells on this guy. We got some natural cells. Be quiet. <laughs> you know what? I can't wait to do this show without you. 
This is ridiculous. <laughs> you are annoying the ever living. I'm sorry. That, that is a very nice painting and a very nice cup. Please, like, <laughs> keep it to yourself, man. Okay. You're making everyone run away from the show. The numbers have only dropped slightly. Uh, since you came on, everybody's like just leaving. They're like, we don't have time for this. Who is this person? I'm opening these little mini canvases because we definitely want to add some of these guys. Yep. Gonna add one for the magnet set, one for your collection. Yeah, we're just gonna see what happens with these. I feel like, I don't know why these are so cute, but they just are. It just works out like that. Your painting is spotting. Hmm? It sells. <laughs> oh my god. Be quiet. <sighs> Okay. Aw, Teresa, that's awesome. Everyone loves that. Yeah, this is definitely breast cancer vibes. For sure. Look at these pretty colors in this one. Okay, Lots of pretty see. pinks. Switched around. Actually, that pink is really awesome. Yeah. Well, I know there's a lot of pinks in that. I like it with the white. The white is a really great neon, contrast. The cells, like, like, they're awesome. Jingle cells, jingle cells. There you go. Getting it on the small guys. We have to. We have to. We gotta do some of these little guys. Some of the darker pinks down there. The burgundy. Yeah, bubblicious. Ooh, look at this guy. This is really pretty. And this is our breast cancer theme painting. This is a serious matter. Yep. I'm totally being serious here. Okay. There's still some white on the other corner too. Yeah, definitely uh, Barbie vibes. Strawberry short. Oh, God. Not the foods again. <laughs> I still have to go to the store and get ice cream. He's You're making him hungry, Wendy. He's like, oh, I my gosh. Strawberry ice cream. He likes ice cream. He has ice cream every night. Reminds me of somebody. Oh, Strawberry Shortcake, the character. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm stuck on food. I know. You know, I used to have a Strawberry Shortcake doll in the 80s, and it smelled like a Strawberry Shortcake. Do you guys, if anybody remembers those, you guys remember those little cupcake dolls that used to smell like cupcakes? And, like, it looked like a cupcake. And then you undid the cupcake, and it was like, that was the doll's skirt. Okay, you don't know what I'm talking about, but everyone else does. I'm a dude. Awesome, Elk. Aw, oh, thank goodness, Elk. I'm glad to hear that. Strawberry scented kiss is awesome. Nice. Yeah, those dolls were cool. My sister had all those little cupcakes. She collected them. Okay, this is really, really pretty. We've got a nice pink theme here. Oh, I'm sorry, Cherby. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, my grandma did too. She died when I was like about a week after I was born, I think. It was. So I never knew her, but she seemed like a cool lady. My other grandmother, though, I was really close to. Luckily, so. Oh, wow. That's Grandparents amazing. are awesome. So many people were affected by it. I'm glad. Yeah. You guys, you chose to do one of these. Yeah. Well, and these colors are pretty, too, you know? Yep. These are good colors. Oh, uh, sorry, Foxy. Aw. Yeah, it definitely reaches out and touches lives, that's for sure. Hopefully one day they'll have a cure for all this. I'm still hopeful that they will. Like, our technology has gone so far. You know, you would think they would have kind of figured that out by now. Yep.
Oh, these little cuties. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> I know the minis are adorable. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, definitely everybody send prayers. Definitely posh sister. Yeah, they're fun size paintings. <laughs> yeah, just like the mini candy bars. I don't want to turn the main one. Oh, sorry. It's starting to look like it just is <laughs> dripping or pouring one way. Which is fine. It's a nice little effect there. And I'm going to put these guys down here and then we'll take a look at this. And for this guy, we will do one of the mini paintings to go along with it for sure. All right, so I'm going to put these guys to the side and then we will auction off the 11 by 14 and also our little uh, mini guy. They're so cute. <clears throat> okay there we go and then let me just get the side on this one we can probably do that as well we can do all kinds of stuff we're we're some talented people in here look at the little cutie so that's the one that will go with the painting yeah this is the one that's going to go with that guy And you want to do silver glitter? Definitely, definitely. Let me go add some silver glitter to that guy real quick. And this is 11 by 14. And let's see, do you guys have any name suggestions on this one? Jumpoline. <laughs> Man, I have got this paint all over survivor. my hands today. Yeah, that'd be a good name. I will survive. Let me write these guys down. Yep. Jumpoline. <laughs> I'm writing them down. I will survive. Yep. That's a good one. Like it. Survivor. Survivor. Bloom eruption. Bloom eruption. That's a good one. I like it. Warrior. Warrior. Ooh, that's a good one. I know. I wish we could all meet up and do some crafts together. That would be so fun. Have a big craft extravaganza. Pink ghost, that's cute. Pink power. Pink power, that's a good one. Yeah, you guys come over here. We got all the colors over here. We got jingle cells too. We auction and then you, the winner of the auction can accessorize. Oh, that's awesome, Isabel. Barbie girl, I like that name. Barbie girl, ooh yeah. Definitely. So yeah, I would do. She does the pour, switches it around, makes the painting, then does the auction. Then if the winner wants to add any glitter or anything else, then she does that after the winner is decided. Yeah, I was thinking we should do a craft group together for sure. Um, I was talking about that yesterday, so I will send out an announcement. I'll I'll uh, get with you guys. Because I know some people that might be interested in that. And we could do a virtual, like, crafting circle together. Um, that's not like a posh show where we're not auctioning anything. That way we can kind of suggest ideas to each other and help each other get sales in our closet and all mm -hmm. of that. I'm in northern Colorado. Like, almost Wyoming. Practically Wyoming. I'm like 30, 45 minutes away from Wyoming. If that. Yeah, I'll definitely send all you guys a message because uh, we were talking about doing that yesterday. 
I think it would be really fun. And not only that, you know, we could talk about what works on our closets, what we've sold, give each other suggestions. Oh, I think you should do that. That would probably sell really well. And just, I don't know, like looking at things and getting ideas. Yep. Lurkers are always welcome. Definitely. We can always do a chat for people that don't feel comfortable to get on Zoom if you just want to join in the chat. So let me get that. I'll get that together tonight and I'll send you guys a message about that. And if you guys are interested, you guys can definitely check out the guild because I'll be posting the announcement there and then sending people specific messages. The guild. So I just kind of made that site just so people could chat because um, sometimes it, it can be hard to chat on here. And it would just be nice to do a crafting circle, I think. We already kind of do that anyway, but it'd be cool to see what... Like, I've gotten really inspired. And since Bex is in here, i got to show Bex what I did. Oh, boy. It only took her 12 hours, Bex. Maybe it was 14 hours. Because I love Bex's uh, purse charms, so I actually tried to make one. Because, I mean, we can be, we get inspired by each other, you know? And this is what Bex inspired me to do. And it's like a really, I don't know, it's just like a there beaded thing. Now it's got the focus. Yeah, and I've got a little angel on it. You know, like we could all learn from each other because everybody's got different skills, you know? We all have different gifts and different skills. And some people are good at this type of crafting, and some people are good at that type of crafting. When all of our crafting combines, we form Captain Planet. Captain Crafting. Captain Craft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, it'd be fun. I think it'd be really fun. So I'll set something up and send you guys a message. And if anybody's interested, then we should do it. So there's that guy. The painting did turn out very nice. Yeah. I like the white in it, too. I like the white cells. They're a nice contrast. So, got a lot of abstract and that one, and then there's the metallic silver. Crafting planet, that'd be a good... Crafting planet, we are heroes. <laughs> gonna give crafting. Okay, I'm gonna have to give... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to think some more about that theme song. <laughs> um, crafting planet, okay, thanks a lot, Teresa. I'll be, that'll be, I'm gonna be singing that all night. Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> You know what? We can blame Teresa for everything tonight. Teresa gets the blame for the mini canvases, and then she gets the uh, blame for the craft song. The bad craft song, I just sang. Um, okay, so we'll auction this guy off, and then we'll do the drip pan. But I'll definitely send you guys messages, and we'll figure out Crafting Planet. Okay. So this guy is going to be the 11 by 14 painting. And then you guys are also going to be getting the mini painting as well. So you've got your painting and then you've got your mini me painting that come with this guy. So really cute. Um, it's like two and a fourth for one. Yeah. It's, it's one just, and a fourth for it's one. It's just a painting and a mini me, and a mini me painting. <laughs> so this one is really pretty though. It's got a lot of nice pinks in it. We have come up with some really good names, too. So, oh, congratulations, Chick Tam. Oh, I'm so glad you got this one. That's a, that's a good painting. Yeah, for sure. And there's meaning behind this one, too. Yeah. Seems this like was, it, it seems to affect a lot of people here. So. Yeah, like everybody in the chat, really. If we ever make it big, we'll have to do one and donate somewhere big. So That would be cool. But we got to make it big first. Well, that's why we're going to have Crafting Planet. And, uh, yeah, I did see the question before somebody was asking me if this is a, a full-time thing or just a hobby. It's kind and, of a hobby, but I've been doing it a lot lately. Yeah. She, she spends a lot of time on it. It's like full-time worth of time, and then, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a hobby, and then it's turned into this thing. I don't know. I really enjoy it now because I get to share it with other people. 
Like, before it would just be me standing here pouring the paint going, yeah. oh, well, this looks cool. Just having me look at it. But it's better. <laughs> You're all like, thank you guys so much. I don't have to look at every single painting and be like, oh, that looks I don't really have good. to say it looks beautiful and then her not believe me. <laughs> <laughs> look at this one. Look at it. Okay, glitter. Okay, you, Okay, let's pick yep. the name, too. So you get to, uh, did we already pick the name? Because I, I, was... I didn't see a name, sorry. I was talking. Um, Barbie Girl, Jumpaline, I Will Survive, Survivor, Bloom Eruption, Warrior, Survivor. Pink Ghost, and Pink Power. Survivor is a good choice. I yeah. Think that was the one that everybody liked, that and Warrior. I like that one too. Yeah, I like both of those. This is a good one. And then, yeah, Silver Glitter and Silver, silver Glass. Silver Glitter and Silver Glass. Okay. Now, do you want Silver Powdered Glitter or do you want like the chunkier Platinum? And this is kind of diamond shaped. So let me actually pour this in here so you can see what we're doing in here. Because we do have some choices. So it's kind of like finely ground up oh. glitter. And then it's also got these diamonds. But the name of the this glitter Tam knows what she wants. is platinum. <laughs> oh, we love that. She wants the powder. Night, Sandy. Mermaid, have a good night. Have a good night, Sandy. You are awesome. Let me find our silver that's powdered. Where'd you go? Ooh, what color is that? That's pretty. That's not silver. See how easily we get distracted? I'm like, ooh, look at this. This it is was, shiny. Uh, Captain Planet. Yeah. That's... Captain Planet, he's a hero. Is that your powdered silver? Yeah. That looks great. Gonna take pollution down to You're zero. Probably in the chat there. I'd probably raise oh. it up. Yeah. There we because go. The chat. The chat's right there. There's our uh, powdered silver glitter. Oh my god! Look at my hands. Actually, you guys don't look at them. I look like Sh I look like Shrek <laughs> yeah, hands. That's a lot of different colors on your hands. Okay, we're gonna auction off my hands next. Yeah. <laughs> Chick Tam likes that one. Okay, cool. Glass. Yeah, this is a nice color glitter. Where do you want it, Chick Tam? Let me get our silver glass out too. So we've got these guys that we're going to be using. There's a warning on Everywhere. there not to eat the glass. There is? <laughs> no. What does the warning say? It just says small parts keep out of the reach of children. Yeah, so they don't eat it. Nobody's going to eat glass. <laughs> okay, so you want it random. Okay. Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. My kind of girl. Yep. Chop from a pie and let it go where it goes. Craft weights <gasps> down to zero. Oh my god, Teresa. Like with your drip fan paintings. I love Teresa. Teresa's a craft my crafting soul sister. I love that. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, and we got to do it to the little one too, right? Do you want everything that we do to the big one to do it to the little one? Make it rain. Make it, make it rain. Oh my God, Bex. I go everywhere like this all the time. I've just accepted that my hands are always going to look like this. Okay. This is just how they look. Even when I wash them, they still look like this. Yep. I can vouch. It's kind of sad. All right. So now let, let's see if we're good with the glass or you want more. Cause you know, we can always do more. We like it when we, when we can do as much as possible, but we want to zoom in so that you can really, really see. Ah, uh, those graphic designers. <laughs> they don't even have to really get their hands dirty. It's so wrong. Love the silver. They up there you can see our ceiling fan going. No. Making them flash. Giving it some extra bling. I love it too. The glass is just, I don't know. It just gives it something extra. It just does. 
And we haven't done the glitter yet. We're gonna do the glass first and then we'll add the glitter. But I wanna make sure that we have the appropriate amount of glass. So now we're gonna kind of back up a little bit and take a look at it a little further back so that we can get an idea if we have enough or not. Because these are decisions we have to make. These are very, <laughs> very important decisions. These are very important painting decisions. A little more on the top. Okay, perfect. That's oh, awesome. I'm glad right? you like it. Like I said, I'd just be sitting here doing this by myself. Like, yeah. how much fun would that be? It's therapeutic even for me. I might talk some smack, but... It's like so much it. more fun with people, though. Honestly. And Chick Tam, do you want it on your little painting, too? Do you want them to be little twins? Do you want me to put it on this guy, too? Or you want to leave this guy as is? Sure. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Crafting planet... We are heroes. I love your chat. You know, other people are like, yeah, make it twins. Make it match. <laughs> we are bringing craft pollution down to zero. Twinsies. Got our drip pan. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it came from nature, but from a different planet. Craft planet. Crafting planet. Look at that. Oh my God. Why is this so cute? <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> oh my god that is too that is messed up <laughs> oh my god that's amazing oh no worries chick yeah yeah, no, we're just taking a close-up look at this guy to see how we feel about the amount of glass. <laughs> oh, my God. That is amazing. Oh, my God, Teresa. I've got tears in my eyes from that. that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, she loves the glass. Time for the glitter. Why is that so funny? That's so funny. It's everything to do with the food is funny. No, it's not. Yes, it is. But that was really funny <laughs> I just picture Teresa standing there with brown paint on her hands like uh <laughs> oh it looks like a mist <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my god <sighs> you want me to write you a check <laughs> I was painting reindeers or gingerbread houses or you know like that's really funny. And I'm adding the silver glitter. You just can't see me because I'm holding it up really high because I really feel like when you hold it like right on it, it'll just like make a little pile and we don't want to do that. She wants it evenly distributed. Thanks, Wendy, too. I mean, I guess your name's Wendy Rossi, one, but... It was just one smudge. We you should have... Wendy's. You should have like uh, rubbed your face with it while <laughs> yeah. it was there or something. <laughs> My sleeve wasn't long enough. <laughs> or put your hand, but like act like you were like picking your like butters. Yep. <laughs> awesome, chick Tam. Have a good night. Oh my god. She's gotta go hang out with her girls. Oh, chick Tam, you have a good night. Thank you for joining us. We'll make sure it looks great. You're the best. Yeah, we got a nice little dusting of this, so this is good. Oh wow. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice touch. <laughs> Nice touch. Yep. Thank you, Chick Tam. Yep, thank you. Have so, a great night. Yeah, we got this guy all dusted up <laughs> for you. Good to hear her back. So we're glad you stumbled upon us. Me too. We'll get her sealed up when she's dried, and uh, we'll get her sent out to you. Get it out to you. Stuff. Got our gorgeous glitter, our gorgeous glass, and we got our matching mini me painting. I don't know why we're doing mini me paintings tonight. Just because we think they're cool mostly, but. Awesome, Taj. Yep. I'm glad everybody stumbled upon and the ones that have stuck around are pretty cool. So I'm stuck here no matter what. <laughs> yep. Very unfortunate for both of us. Mm hmm. I didn't stumble here. <laughs> I think you're just glad that everybody else has to look at these besides you. 
Yep. Like I said, I don't have to look at it, tell her it's beautiful, and have her not believe me. <laughs> yeah, I have to make the buttons. That's all part of the job. Oh, yeah, the I'll, buttons. You I'll know be making buttons that. tomorrow so that you can get her shipments off Monday. The oh, ones my that God. Dry. Look how cute. Look at this little guy. Trunk buttons. Oh, my God. And you got the glass the and the glitter. Oh, he's just adorable. All right, we'll do our last one, which is our cute. Yep, K-Y-U. <laughs> It just is. Cute. I know, yeah. I could have been already at ice cream if she wasn't doing a show. Oh, how terrible for you. <laughs> well, I have to have ice cream later instead of right now. And oh, man. My wife will go to the store because my feet hurt. This is a heck of a paint pan. Yeah, it's a lot of... That one's going to be something else. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see what they got in stock. It was it was on sale. They had a uh, quart and a half for two for seven. So I might have to get two, or two of them. It's a pretty two. good price for ice cream now. Two ice creams? Nobody said you could have two ice creams. Well, maybe you'll go get me two ice creams. Gotta, gotta save where you can. I mean, and maybe ones... pigs will fly. <clears throat> are like six bucks a piece, so two for seven is pretty good. Everything, yeah. Everything. Wow. Look at that. That is a glob of paint. I like, I like this one. I like this one. This is definitely some abstract art. And we've got our Christmas she, glitter. She didn't there. even prepare you guys. She just started moving that paint. Like, here we go, guys. Buckle up. <laughs> Here's our along, drip pan. Along for the ride. Here's our drip pan. Yep, she's probably in a rush to give me ice cream. <laughs> no. That is not <laughs> happening. I'm going to go watch Captain Planet after this or something. I don't Which, know. Who got you, Captain Planet? I'm going to do some more crafts. Pirate Bay got All me Captain Planet. Gigabytes of freaking Captain Planet. Captain Planet came from Pirate Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever pay for movies and TV shows or computer software. <laughs> Actually, that's really bad advice. Yeah, you shouldn't be saying that live to the <laughs> FBI. Nobody cares. Okay. Uh. Ooh. See, Bex, I could understand if I was doing that, but I. Yep. I'm not smart, so I just get the cheapest stuff I can. <laughs> he looks for coupons. We have coupons <laughs> that are. Uh, our store has, like, digital coupons. Yep. And so it's like, okay, what are we going to get this week? Peanut butter, chocolate. Yeah, that might be a good choice, actually. Can't go wrong with that one. Man, these are cool. There's a lot of pink in this. This is kind of cool. I see one gold flake in it. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit, and there's a little bit of the Christmas glitter, and there's like a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything, really. Yeah, this one's really nice. This is our abstract art painting that we do at the end, and um, we just started doing this kind of like an experiment, and then it just stuck around. Yep. Like most things it's, on here. It's basically a combination of everything we've done tonight. And this is a big frame. So this is like twice the size of the frames that I normally use. This is an 18 um, inch by 24 inch frame. So this takes up a nice little space of wall. And not only that, um, it's uh, just a little piece of abstract art. So when people come over to your house, you can be like, hmm. I know everything about art. Yeah, look at how sophisticated I am. Will you stuff. hand me those little guys down there? Or slide them over? My blocks? My stands? Oh, good. And write the, you're writing the names down. I was going to. Okay, perfect. Perfect, though. 
No owls in this one. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a lot of Bex pink. has checked it for owls. <laughs> this has been inspected for owls. This painting is owlless. Maybe some flamingos. My dad loved flamingos. Yep. Palooza. Flamingos are cool. A lot of people <laughs> like collect flamingos. Maybe dolphin beaks. <laughs> All right, I just peeled some of this stuff off my hands. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, the pinks and greens do look nice together. Any beaks? What um, do we see? What do we see? It might be your camera might be a little high. It's kind of in the middle of the chat. Oh yeah, we don't need that. You're showing your paint things. There we go. Okay. Whoa, don't fall on the painting. Shall we not? There we go. Okay, that's better, right? That's a better view of this guy. I think so. Yeah, me too. And let's see. That I don't see any culmination pinks. of everything. I see a lot of pinks, though. Um, that's for sure. Lots of pinks. I can see a couple blues. I see our Christmas glitter a little bit down here. Millie Pulitzer print, huh? It does. It really does. That's flattering. Make me feel like I'm a professional here. Look at that. And we'll do a close-up on this guy before we auction it off so you guys can kind of see the plethora of color we yeah, have going for us. Probably a million different things you can see. In and there thing. are a couple cells, too. And then you can see some of our Christmas glitter. Yep. Made it in there. Yeah. Which I think we're entirely okay with. That was... You saw a mermaid back there. Pretty cool of us. <laughs> oh, there's another woman. Yep. Yeah. Really drank too much wine. <laughs> she did. And this is what happened. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that little area. That's neat. Get lost in the painting for days. You could. A lot of people see a lot of different things in these, especially when it's abstract like this. It's kind of like, okay. Definitely abstract. So let's see. This guy is going to be, what, 18 by 24? Just to remind you guys of the size of this guy. And this one we usually do start off at $7 just because of the size of the canvas. It's about twice the size of most of the ones we do. So that's what this guy looks like. Lots of pretty colors in it. Pink elephant. Definitely abstract art. Covers a lot of wall, so you can look like you know more about art. <laughs> you can be like, oh, this is my abstract painting, and then you can, it's done by this famous artist. Yeah. What's her name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Leah Posh. <laughs> Leah Posh. <laughs> Vera Bradley Designs. Oh, I think you're right about that, Bex. I definitely would agree with that. But yeah, it's just a pretty piece of abstract art. There's definitely some green in it, definitely some pink in it. Congrats, Wendy. Congratulations, Wendy. This is like a really good size painting, too. So I'll have to bundle some of your paintings together for sure. Because these uh, paintings don't weigh a lot, so you could definitely fit them together in a yeah, box. Yeah, and this one's going to take a special box, so we might yeah. as well throw anything in there yeah, that we can. Definitely, because you can fit a lot in a five-pound box, to be quite honest with you. But now we have to name the painting. We have three <laughs> suggestions. Pink Palooza, Lily Drink Too Much Wine, and Pink Elephant. That's cute. Free Spirit. I like that. Free Spirit. That's a good one. Wendy's we'll usually down. pretty good at getting her own names, though, I think. Yeah, we've got lots of good ones. But we always have the best names. Because we have the most creative people. <laughs> oh, thanks, Isabel. Oh, that's awesome. No, I'm just glad that you guys are here. That's It's supportive to have you guys here, honestly. 
It's just, it's Thanks, awesome. Really. <laughs> Plus, I get to pick you guys' brains and steal your good ideas. Yep, good color combos. Pink Palooza is what she likes. Ooh, I like it too. Drunk Lily. I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> I like to write down the names because we can reuse the names too, you know? Yep. So, Pink Palooza. <laughs> Oh, well, we're glad you like the show, Isabel, and you even got a little four-pack coming your way at least, and uh, yeah, when those we have eight magnets, we'll, uh, she'll hit you up on message, or you can hit her up on message. Yeah, we'll start collecting mini canvases. Uh, <laughs> facts. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're going to be doing our craft thing. Like I said, I'll send you guys a message, and I'll post something about that. So let me write, put the website in here again. And that way, um, if people want to participate or watch or just chat, we've got that as a, uh, an option. Yep. So definitely. And then, Wendy, do you want to uh, add anything to this guy? We've got glass. We've got glitter. Pink glass and glitter where the pink schwap is. And we've got all the foil Start flakes now. Start heavy by the edge and go lighter as you go. Okay. I could definitely do that. When he knows what you want. Yep. That's always a good thing. Okay, let's do this guy. And Heavy branch it over. You go lighter as you go. God, this glass is so fun. Why is it so fun? I don't know why. I'm just kind of getting the edge to make sure the edge is nice and thick. Yep. Fade it on into the, into the delta. Yeah. I love the glass. Glass is so cool. And we have all the foil colors, so now we need all the glass colors. That's our next order of business. Until we have all the craftuses supplies ever. Yep. Because we got so much room to put them at. <laughs> But we need to give people choices. <laughs> How are they going to accessorize their painting with no accessories? <laughs> you can't accessorize with no accessories. Come on now. Give me a break. Don't die before you get your ice cream. I don't think I can walk. You're going to have to get it for me. <laughs> Gosh. Good. Getting old, sweetie. No, you're not. You're younger than I am. He's four years younger than I am. Yeah, she robbed the cradle a little bit. Oh, my God. It's not that many years. I'm 42. He's uh, 38. I'm a young 42, though. Did I tell you you could tell anybody my age? Releasing my personal info online. He's 38 going on 12, <laughs> just in case. Nice, uh, sister. And you can see the... Nice little gradient we have I mean, going. Nice. You go, girl. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Don't turning 40 is just like, no. I'd rather not. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's a really good view of the glass. And you can definitely tell it's thicker here, especially towards the edge. And then we just kind of do a nice little fade. Cougar. Bex is a cougar. Oh, Bex is a cougar. Rawr. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out for Bex. She's on the prowl. <gasps> oh, my God. Now throw some pink glitter at it. Oh, can we please? Can throw we please? it. Can we please? Well, we gotta pick the pink glitter. Oh god! It's not like we just okay. Let's. I'm just never put gonna pink. get my ice cream. <laughs> let's just put pink glitter on it. We don't just do that. We gotta okay. You which want me pink? to do it? I'll just throw some. No, because we gotta know which pink we want. Like, That's purple. No, these are pink. This one is a light pink. This one is more like a fuchsia, and this is more. I don't know. This looks kind of like a salmon or a neon pink, really. Uh. Salmon. <laughs> He's fine, Wendy. Please. <laughs> Actually, why don't you think about what else you want to add to it? Let's see how long we can make him wait for the ice cream. I think that she would likes be the great. Middle one. Get it on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's 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 just really take a while with this. Ooh, Taj is a Linus. Ooh. Rawr. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to sun sand the sea. I hope they're out of ice cream when we get there. Uh, they might be closed. Good. You don't need any ice cream. You're wasting weight is nothing. No, you're not. <laughs> Maybe you need some, like, I don't know, yogurt instead of ice cream. Ugh. It's good, too. Like, yogurt, to me, is just as good as ice cream. See, posh sister knows ice cream is a survival need. <laughs> I am really proud of her, Isabel. She knows it. <laughs> I just complain because I can. He likes it. That's like a entertainment for him. He thinks it's funny. Ooh, this purple. You know we needed this glitter, right? We definitely did. I don't know. Like, I would just... I don't know. If glitter <laughs> was like... I would... I wish everything I had in my house was glitter. <laughs> Like I said, I've glittered my eye from sitting six feet away from you. Well, good. Then your eye is accessorized. You've got a nice... Like I just turned the page on this and it's covered in glitter. Because we're Way putting... over here. Because there. we're snowing the glitter down <laughs> to distribute it evenly. Hello. My milkshake brings all the young guys to my yard. Bex. <laughs> Wow, Bex is a cougar, guys. Watch work out. It, work it if you got it, sister. <laughs> Look at that. I think she just did clear glass, right? Or... Yeah, clear glass and then the pink glitter. But I'm just doing a close-up because, oh, my God. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, glitter is a nice mm. touch, especially in the green. You know we got to have the glitter. Look at that. Look at that little pop. Yeah, saw a shark there. Oh, and then you can see it with the glass, too. They look really good together, the part where they're together. Mm. Don't, don't hurt them, Bex. <laughs> <laughs> Taja. Oh, my God. We got a cougar and a lion in here. A lioness. A cougar and a lioness. Y'all better watch out. All right. Have a good right night, Isabel. We're pretty much done here, too. Yeah, have a good night, Isabel. Yep, I will enjoy my ice cream. Thank you. I'm not going to let you have any now. <laughs> yeah, the way the glass sinks into the paint's awesome. The glass always looks good. It, it gives it some cool dimension, too. Yeah, I love glass in a painting. That's like our new jam. Well, actually, the glitter is the newest. But, you know... Oy. What do you guys think about the amount of glitter? Do we have enough glitter on this guy? Heartbreaker. <laughs> Bex is a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Isn't that a Pat Benatar song? Sure. Whatever. You don't appreciate you don't appreciate the 80s like I do. <laughs> Better appreciate. What do you think about this guy, Wendy? Do you think it needs any extra? Oh, I don't want him physically anymore in his eyes. <laughs> I am fine, Wendy. I do. I'm about to blow some uh, glitter in his eyes after we're done. Yeah, she used to glitter bomb me when we first Oh met. my gosh. I, I've got a video of me glitter bombing him. I'll put it on my Instagram if anybody wants to see like it. Straight up fistful of glitter. It's in funny the face. as hell. He got it all in his beard, <laughs> and people made fun of him for like. I've also got one where I bomb him with silly string. <laughs> it's really funny. I I don't do a show, posh sister. I'm too shy and I don't talk well. But I like I like tech. <laughs> yeah. I watch tech shows. We so like tech. Sorry. <laughs> Anything that makes our life easier. Come on now, technology's fun. It is. Well, I guess if we're not gonna add anything else to this guy, we'll just. Go ahead and call it a night. The mini paintings were really fun, though. Yeah, they were. That was my favorite <laughs> really part. Cool. Like, we did some good mini I'm glad paintings. they came halfway through your show, or was that before? That was last show, wasn't it? It was the last show, but we didn't get to use them, because I didn't... Yeah. I just didn't think to open them then. But Thank you, Sun Sand C. Now we know. We got to do mini paintings all yep. the time. You use three quarters of the box in one show. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Um, I'll definitely be getting some more. Cool. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank, thank you guys so much. Um, I'll be getting some kind of like craft uh, 
fun thing together tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'll be sending you guys a message about that. So if anybody wants to participate, we can do craft planet. Yep. So you guys are awesome. Yep. You guys have a great night and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to enjoy my ice cream. Yep. Thank you guys so much. You guys enjoy your Saturday night.